acclaimed playwright and musician Bonginigem, a special provincial official funeral category 2, will take place today at the Durban ICC. Well, Ngema's funeral takes place despite some family members claiming that Ngema had wanted to be buried at Nthuati in northern KwaZulu-Natal. Nthlanthla Ngema, the younger brother of the icon, is... And we now go live to Durban at the Durban ICC, where my colleague Bongiwa Bongi is standing by. A very good morning to you, Bongiwa. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, how are the proceedings moving along? You, Simpiwe, and our viewers once again. I just took a walk inside, and it's quite loud. Preparations are well underway. They're singing his popular song, Stimela Sasezola. You know, you, you think about some of the lyrics, Wangbamba Gomangan, Wangbambele Duze, you know, and, and, and you hear those songs, and a lot of people, when you walk around saying, Oh, Umar Jogovu, you would think that he would actually come and grace the stage because this song is synonymous with who he is. And you can see there on stage, a lot of rehearsals, particularly even from some of the original members of the Sarafina cast um, who are singing and uh, there's quite a lot of history that will also be reflecting on particularly where this play is concerned and how it was, uh, you know. A lot of interesting memories that come to mind in that particular regard. But let's speak to someone who is also the custodian of the creative industry. And uh, a lot of people also talking about it during the memorial service, about how important it is that the arts also start to look closely into some of the challenges of those who, you know, who are within it. The artists, everybody who's a service provider, the minister Zizigotwam. Sports, Arts and Culture Minister joins us live now. Minister, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. Good morning. Let's start first with a day like today, the reflections. It's a day of celebration, although it's a day of sadness that we lost one of the greatest, the global icon, from a theatre, but also from a creative arts point of view. But it's a day to celebrate. And I think what we have seen on Wednesday, it was a vibrant musical celebration, truly befitting him. And I think today, as we can hear the sound behind us, that it will be a truly a day befitting the legacy of Umar Lokovu. We must celebrate this moment. But I think we must then say a question, what needs to be done in honor to celebrate, acknowledge his contribution? And a lot of things that we'll talk about them when we speak, we have an opportunity to say one or two words to the mourners today. But I think it's a great opportunity for us to reflect back and celebrate his contribution. I'm tempted to ask you which one was your favorite song and if you can sing it. <laughs> well, of course, Matlokov did two things. He gave us hope during the dark yeah. moments of this hamstring. He gave us hope, hence freedom is coming tomorrow. But also he gave us hope as a people to love each other. Even at a time of darkness, hence the song Stimela Samsasazola, Tambulam Lekendag. Sambrela Sam. Sambrela Sam. Let's really reflect on, you know, quite a bit came out during the memorial service. Some of those who are in the industry saying that for them, they would like some of their concerns to be addressed. But interestingly enough, uh, Silo Chico Twala says that the Durban Playhouse must be named after him. We are considering a number of proposals. It can never be enough to recognize a person who has made such immense contribution. You, even if you can give him so many international acclaim accolades, you can give him the national orders, it can never be enough. Because his contribution, yeah. like the contribution of Peter Makubani, uh, you, can, yes. you can't say it is enough to recognize them. But such a contribution that will leave a legacy of education and awareness to the inspire younger generation is important. We are considering even to rename 
the theater, some of the theaters where it did a lot of his production. Uh, or that we have a statue outside of Playhouse, because Playhouse has been a, a factory for many of them, including him, where many people through his hands come from the Playhouse. So we are considering a number of options, including that option. And uh, finally, then, before I let you go, because I know you have to rush inside, but um, there's also a cry from, you know, some of the artists, the Federation, for example, saying that our issues are known. Just deal with them. The issues are known. One of the issues is that we must recognize them and give them their flowers whilst they can still smell them. Um, I don't like when we recognize people posthumously. Mm. There's a long list. Um, Matlokov was part of the long list of the people to be recognized. But as you know, there's a generation that came before him. Yeah. We're, not, we're here in Debe not so long ago to honor Matala. We honored one of the people who, who were the recipient of Fantuka Af, is Makubani, and many others who are on the list. Unfortunately, some of them, they passed away before we reached the list. I believe that we must recognize, because a recognition by your own people, by your peers, by your government means a lot. Because in the past, they were not recognized. There's a lot we must do about the economy of creative arts the economy, the business side of it. And I think there are lessons to be learned in terms of international benchmark in the UK and other countries. I've visited few countries in the past. I've seen in the recent past, I've seen how their budget has increased in terms of arts and culture. We must do the same in South Africa. We must quantify its contribution to the GDP, creating jobs and opportunities. There's a lot that we can do to protect, but at the, at the same time, we must protect exploit and over-exploitation of vulnerable in the industry. All right, Minister, let me let you go. Thank you so much for your time. There's another guest who's coming in some people <laughs> thank you <laughs> you must sing i'm waiting to see you, you. There on stage. i'm waiting we'll have visuals that is ministers is a go to the
of the um, Hearst as it heads to the Albert Lutuli International Convention Center in Durban. That is where the funeral is taking place. A full view presenter Bonge Zwane is of course um, leading this particular cover coverage of the official uh, provincial category two funeral of Mbonge Ningema. Um, which has been um, decided on by government and the Premier of KwaZulu-Natal, Nomusa Tubengube, will be delivering the eulogy a bit later on. Very important also mentioning that because um, we need to also take into consideration that um, the politics that is at play in KwaZulu-Natal and the politics that will be on display um, during the funeral, perhaps, like we saw what happened on the day of the memorial service, especially the developments around um, the former president of the ANC, uh, Jacob Zuma, deciding to join um, the MK party, or rather deciding to support the MK party, and still, remember, still remaining a member of the ANC. And, of course, you had the chairperson of the ANC at the memorial service, and people really are reading a lot into that, who was greeted, who was acknowledged, and who wasn't acknowledged. Today as well, it would be who is sitting next to who and what it is that people will be able to read into that. So there you have it. It is um, the procession there leading up to the um, Albert Lutuli ICC where the funeral will be taking place and uh, Bongwe Zwane will be um, giving us coverage with regards to that. Also there on the screen that just popped up um, is Jade Paulson. She's also part of the SABC crew that is uh, covering the funeral of Mbongen Ingem. Let's move to the...
have the the provincial category two official funeral and i imagine there are several dignitaries waiting as well as those heavyweights from the arts industry waiting to pay tributes waiting to have a word or two and share the life and times and the many memories that they had of Mbongeni in Gema. Jade, thank you so much for your time. Uh, good morning to you, Aldrin, and our viewers. Yes, uh, the atmosphere is electric. And uh, earlier on, the Sports Arts and Culture Minister, Zizikot, was saying that uh, this is a day of, day of celebration. You think about, you think about a song, a song that, that they're playing, playing right, right now. now. It's called, it's called uh, My Foshloza. And, and this, this is, one, is of one of the love songs, songs uh, that, a uh, that a lot of people would know, um, you know, synonymous with Stimela Sasazola, synonymous with Vumat Lozilami. These are some of the songs that would have been made popular by him, and we can expect 
um, people like, uh, you know, Kanyo Mapumolo, the artists that he paved the way for to also perform some of his favorites, as they told us, um, that it was quite a difficult task to pick some of the songs that they were going to be performing here today. And just around me, as you can see, some of the dignitaries as we're waiting for the cortege to arrive here at the Durban ICC, you can see the Minister Zizi Godwa. You can also see the Mayor of Etekwi, Nikolisem Kawuda, who is also here. And we'll see if we can maybe just try to quickly, um, maybe just do stop him, get a word from him as he is uh, the number one citizen of Etekwini, just to get a sense from him of a day like this. Mayor, thank you so much for your time. Let's talk about a day like this, significant to the province of Gazul Natal, the city of Etekwini. Indeed, this is a great loss to the nation, a great loss to our province and the city, because Uba Bumbongen, Dr. Bumbongen Gemma was our international icon. So the role that he played and also through the expression of his art, uh, he signified what South Africa looked like. Those who were not here, uh, looking at the brutality of the apartheid regime, they were able to feel it, even if they were not here internationally. Because he was a good ambassador for us, messaging uh, the messages of people of South Africa that enough is enough, freedom is coming. And you know that song, Freedom is Coming. So it, it actually says that uh, we had somebody who was a very uh, creative, innovative in nature, but he was indeed a revolutionary because he struggled and he participated in the pillar of the struggle on international mobilization. I mean, thank you so much, Mayor, for your time. As you can see there, Aldrin, the cottage has arrived. Um, we are, of course, now waiting for uh, those who will be alighting these vehicles to then take the coffin inside. As we were showing our viewers earlier on uh, of how it's all going to unfold, they will stop right by um, this door in front of us, and uh, they are going to be making their way into the Durban ICC through this red carpet here. They will then go all all the way to the front and as they go to the front you can expect of course um, you know some um, silence a moment of silence but at the same time the program to get underway um, as we are now expecting to start with the program any minute now you also think about the life of Dr. Mbongeni Ngema this is a man who we got to know um, that he basically got 18 rand um, for, from his then um, girlfriend, who would have been the mother of his child, to go to Johannesburg. And when he went to Johannesburg, that was when he met someone like Gibson Kenton. And when he met U Gibson Kenton, he was then able to start his career and really just push to, to, to make it into this particular industry. He then soon left, of course, to then start his own um, productions. You think about productions like Asina Mani, productions like Waza Albert, productions like Magic at 4 a.m., the popular one, uh, Sarafina, which became known the world over. And he just comes from a village of Entoati outside Mduba Duba and this is a man who took over the world with his talent a man who was known to many as Mbongeni Ngema and later known as Dr. Mbongeni Ngema he's written songs for you think Michael Bolton you think the collaborations with Barney Simon you think about Pesim Tua um, whom he also collaborated with to create Waza Albert and these are landmark productions landmark productions that we're talking about the situation in our country at the moment and they were using theater to highlight some of the injustices of the apartheid regime at the same time highlighting some of you know the, the plight of black people at the time and really pushing um, for change, making sure that some of the songs that were sung were heard by the government of the day. Because you think about some of his productions where he will then be raided and some of the actors would be arrested for singing some of these songs. So as soon as the coffin um, comes out, Aldrin, we will take a, a moment to be able to bring some of these live visuals 
to our viewers and for them to be able to hear some of the natural sound of what's going on here. It's a special official funeral, provincial funeral category too. It does have some police elements in it and this is in line with the funeral of its stature. So we are going to also be speaking to quite a number of people here who are sharing their reflections on this life, talking about a lifeline that they would have been given by Dr. Mbongenigema, who encouraged them to make sure that as soon as it gives you a lifeline, you must then go into the world and do more than what he would have done for you. So that's what we've been hearing from some of those who worked very closely with him on some of the productions. And uh, we are, of course, also waiting to even uh, get the program underway because as part of the program, there is going to be some of his favorite songs, as we were told by the artistic director, Jerry Bowie, that uh, they've selected them carefully to make sure that they reflect who he was. So it will be a moment of celebration as much as the family is also in mourning. You can see there members of the family also being uh, you know, arranged to also accompany um, his remains inside the hall. And this is a moment when we'll also be just taking a breather and uh, really just letting you hear um, what is happening here. You can see his brother is in the front, in Tlantlangema, one of the family spokespersons that we've seen. There's also Mpumelelo Makumete Ngema, who uh, we also got to know is his wife. She paid a tribute saying 17 years ago when they met, she did not know that a moment like this will come talking about how difficult of a moment this is for her because they collaborated um, in, 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 in the stage place. She's a choreographer and uh, she was working with him and her work ethic described by many as uh, quite excellent and saying that when they were working together you wouldn't even say that uh, they were actually a, mar a couple that is married uh, but they were so professional in how they executed everything they needed to do because they understood the business at hand. So she was talking about how she also thanks him for respecting the fact that she is private and uh, she's not somebody who likes to be in the limelight like um, you know he was in the limelight, but she thanked him for keeping her as privately as possible and their love privately so that they were able to share those moments together. So let's listen to um, some of what is uh, taking place, some of the natural sound coming from the smoke. Bongi is one there for us at the ICC where the funeral of Mbongi Ningema um, will be held. You can see her there. She is the wife of the late Dr. Mbongi Ningema. And uh, they are getting ready now as the family to receive his remains. Um, that is, as you can see there, Mpumelelo Makumete Ngema the wife to the late Dr. Mbongeni Gema, who was also speaking through her letter at the memorial service, just talking about what a difficult time this is for her, expressing that this is a man she's known and loved for over a decade, nearly two decades. She says they met 17 years ago, and expressing just how difficult of a time um, this is for her. So. This is a special official funeral, category two, and uh, it does have some police elements um, with it as well. And you can expect that now the remains, the coffin, will be removed from the vehicle and they will then be making their way into the auditorium where we can expect that uh, the funeral service will get underway. And quite a lot has been said about this man who has created quite a lot of theatre plays, but you think about some of the awards that he would have worked with. He was nominated for Best Direction of a Play for Asinama, that is uh, in 1987, in the Tony Awards. 1988 Grammy Award, Sarafina nominated for a Grammy at the 32nd Annual Grammy Awards. 
And you think about 1998, when he was inducted in the New York Walk of Fame in front of the Lucille Lotel Theatre in Manhattan, in New York. And in Harlem, on May the 9th, they call it Domagan Lovo and Mongeni Gema Day to celebrate their contribution to the arts. And his name is engraved on City Hall's entrance in Durban alongside Nelson Mandela, Oliver Tambo, and Miriam Makeba. The family now getting ready to walk in with his remains. You can see his brother there. Members of the media, let's move back a bit. So what guys, what do we do when they come out? You do this. So nobody moves up until they pass through, ne? And then we hold it here, okay? No. Yes, not sure. Okay. I'm just asking, I'm asking the media, when you are doing the graphic, please just keep up. Yes. Thank you. Just one minute for the police. Just one minute. The um, coffin is making its way to the Durban ICC's auditorium. We cannot show you the visuals of uh, the coffin being draped. The family has requested uh, that we do not show visuals of uh, his uh, coffin being draped. And you know that, of course, this is the special um, official, provincial official funeral and uh, with some police elements so as soon as the coffin is draped we will then be able to bring you some of those visuals the family has requested that this be a private moment and uh, so as to afford this particular part of the ceremony as well some privacy and this is a family that is also trying to deal with the fact that it is now sharing the man with the rest of the world. They had hoped, as you heard earlier on, through their spokesperson, Abe Magwe, that some of the moments, the funeral, uh, some aspects be private. There were also even, you know, some discomforts for some with having everything done here in Etequini. But um, A.B. Mark was saying that this is a moment where the family has to understand, and they do, that they're sharing him with the rest of the world. And therefore, it cannot be that they do and are able to enjoy some of the private moments that they possibly would have liked to enjoy with him. And uh, A.B. Mark were also telling us that uh, while there were some that were hoping that he would be buried in Kwatsim, they've now, as a family, had to understand that this would be the best place to bury him at the Hero's Acre, where they also just um, 
reflect on some of the lives of some of the legends who lie there that he would have had encounters with. And uh, they talk about even the significance of his, this moment for his children. You listened to Africa, his son, talking at his memorial service, saying that for him, he was a father, but also they shared a lot in private. And he even shared moments that his father would ask him when he's about to leave the house and say, have you sorted out my shoes? Is my car washed? Is everything ready? And he says, I would then respond and say, yes, dad. And then after that moment, he will then leave the house. And he says he was the man who was behind the scenes. But now that his father is gone, he wants to emerge. Those were his words that he shared with mourners who were gathered at the Durban Playhouse. There was also Silo Chukotwala, who said that uh, the Durban Playhouse is a house that is so significant to who he was because he loved and earned new talent. They are hoping that the Durban Playhouse becomes named after him because they feel that that would be a moment of uh, you know honoring him and making sure that his legacy lives on. And uh, you also heard from the Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture and Recreation, Zizi Kordwa, saying that it's one of the submissions that they've had um, in order to reflect on his legacy and what they do in his honor. And at the same time, Z uh, Minister Zizukoto is saying that uh, they are considering a myriad of other issues, uh, a myriad of other proposals that have been put at uh, their doorstep in order to be able to honor the life of this legend. The province of, Kwas of Gauteng, in fact, looking at professionalizing his school. Um, they say that he did this informally, but they want to do it formally in order to be able to fulfill his lifelong wish of having the school, this art school, because there are thousands and thousands of young people that would have passed through his hands, but they're hoping that uh, they get to formalize this. At the same time, you also listen to his friend, um, Om Velase, talking about how for him, this was not just a man who contributed to the theater space, but was also a politician, according to him. And as a politician, he had hoped, um, you know, that, uh, that more of the work was still going to be done, particularly because he was not happy, um, even as we heard from uh, different speakers memorial service about the state of the country, uh, had a lot of criticism for the ANC. And also at the same time, you think about um, even some of the conversations that are said to have been difficult that he would have had with various ANC leaders about where the country was going. Also, this is a man who also courted controversy, even in his own life. Um, there were also, you know, claims of gender-based violence as well. Um, but later on, some say that uh, he, you know, they found that he had reformed and he was speaking out against gender-based violence. So there's a number of people who also talk about his legacy as a mixed legacy and saying that it is not only a legacy that uh, was glorious and uh, they say this is not only a legacy that they would only attribute to the arts, but they can attribute it to quite a number of different faces and the hats that uh, this man would wear. So as the family today reflects on this life, for them they are reflecting on a son who would have left home to go to Johannesburg, to go look for opportunities because he started teaching himself the guitar as a teenager at the age of 15. He was teaching himself how to play the guitar. You listen to some of the interviews that he would have done over the course of the years and he says his parents didn't understand that you can actually make a living through the arts. He says that um, his parents didn't understand that someone can play the guitar and still get paid. So he had to push and make sure that he pushes as hard as he could to be recognized in this industry. He also talked about how even at that time, he went to go meet Gibson Kente, who was also known on theater. And when he got there, you hear from some of his friends how he got there and found that Gibson Kente 
had to go out uh, of the province on business for quite some time. But the late Dr. Mungeni Gemma did not give up. He simply went to go sleep in the back room without anybody noticing him. Only when the late Gibson Kenta comes out and they talk and people say he's been here this entire time. That's when they started working. That's when they started working on some of the productions. Shortly after that, you then see the play when he decided to come back to the province of Kosovo Natal, Asinamali. That play was highlighting the plight of those who are exploited in various industries, talking about the difficulties of having to work, but you can't send money home because you are not getting anything in return. So these are some of the reflections that a lot of those who are gathered here will be talking about, they'll be thinking about, they'll also be thinking about how do they preserve his legacy in various forms. You heard from some of those who worked with him on theatre. They say that wherever they are, they are going to be making sure that they hold his name high, that they celebrate his life, they mark the moment when they met him, and a man that they so cherish and, and credit when it comes to the international recognition that they say they now enjoy. He's also helped to compose and um, write some songs for the Lion King as well. His footprints also being seen there. And uh, you, you, you then also listen to some of those who are here who tell you that he had an indelible mark, even in, um, you know, some of those who were in the soccer fraternity, the legends who were in conversation with some of them earlier on who say, you may think that um, the late Dr. Mbongeningem was also just only focused in the arts, in music, but for them as well as the soccer legends, they say they knew him personally, they watched him over time, they enjoyed a close relationship as part of the legends that are under uh, Dr. Riali Dwaba. So quite a lot of reflections here. And this as the funeral program will be getting underway. There is, of course, and now taking place the draping of the coffin by the SAPS. The family has requested that uh, we do not show that part of uh, the ceremony. And then we can expect that the SAPS will be leading the procession of mourners inside the ICC arena. And the procession will include the chaplain, the bearers, chief mourner, the premier, ministers, followed by immediate family members. And the, the, the program directors, Mr. Sipotlomoga, acting MSC for Sports, Arts and Culture, and Mr. Mandan Kanuzulu Keswa. And there will be, among others, a musical item by Black Moses, welcoming remarks by the mayor of the city of Etegwini, Councillor Onisa Kaunda. There will also be the reading of the obituary by Miss Gugu Nobo. We will then see as part of the program tributes by a family representative according to the program that is expected to be Ntlantlangema who is his younger brother, who shared with us throughout the course of the week that uh, for him, his older brother was like a father because they lost their parents when they were young. But the late Dr. Mbongeningema, taking on the role of being a father figure, providing for them and his siblings. And uh, there is also now the premier of KwaZulu Natal, who will be delivering the eulogy, who is uh, in fact joining us now as we are waiting 
to start with the program, the Premier is here. Thank you so much, Premier. I know we're about to get underway. Let's talk about today. Yeah, um, uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's the day that uh, we've been praying um, that uh, when it reaches us, we are ready to face the reality, but it's, it's not easy. Um, right now, um, the police are doing the official um, draping um, after the family have just been to do um, the traditional um, uh, rituals. And unfortunately, that's why the time is delayed as well. Um, but we are about to start um, the last journey um, to resting, uh, look over to rest. We are uh, really um, with heavy hearts. Um, we lost the words, but um, God has spoken and the will of God shall be done. I saw you at the memorial also comforting Makomete. She was having a difficult time accepting what has happened. How is she this morning? She's getting strong, uh, but you can never be strong uh, about something like this. Um, the difficulties will come, um, it will come and go. Um, when she sees the work that Matlogov was doing, when she hears the music, when she sees the people, it's going to come back all the time. And I was telling her that it's still going to be very painful and the pain is not going to go. Um, she needs to pray, she needs to understand that she's got this responsibility now to stand up and be able to carry the work that Matlogovu has left behind. And the family and everybody else is going to be looking up to her as well as the wife um, to be able to do this. And she's young, so all of us have got to be able to come closer to her as well and to hold her hand during these difficult times. It hasn't been an easy journey, you know, family um, you know, issues are always going to be there, but uh, ours is to support the family. And Premier, I see there's a movement with the family, so I'm going to let you go. Uh, so you said that you need to also be there. So that's uh, Premier Nomusa Dubengu, she will be delivering the eulogy at uh, the funeral. So at the moment, you can see the coffin has been draped. His brother, Untlantlangema, is walking in front. You can see there the SAPS leading the procession as well. The procession has a chaplain, the bearers, the chief mourner, the premier, as we've just spoken to her now, Nomusatube Nube. And there's also ministers who will be part of the procession, immediate family members as well.
these are live visuals coming to live from the Durban ICC as the funeral program is set to get underway. The funeral program of the, of the late Dr. Mbongene Ngema expected to get underway as soon as the procession is done making its way inside. You can see there as part of the procession his wife Mpumelelo Magume Dengema who is with the Premier of the province of KwaZulu Natal who will be delivering the eulogy as well you can also see Mayor Mkulisa Kaunda as well as part of this procession this is a procession that is led by the SAPS and it will be a procession of mourners inside and um, As they're about to make their way into the auditorium here at the Durban ICC, the arena inside, this procession will be led by the SAPS, as you can see, that members of the SAPS who are leading this procession, there'll be a chaplain in front, and the chaplain is going to be followed by the bearers, the chief mourner, the premier, the ministers, and as part of this, the immediate family members as well. There will be an opening prayer inside the arena by SAP's principal chaplain, Reverend P. Gomete. There will also be welcoming remarks by the mayor of Etegwini, Olise Kaunda. A message on behalf of children will be delivered by Mr. Afrikan Gemma, who we also saw speak at his memorial service earlier this week. On behalf of the creative industry, we're expecting Mr. Silo Chikotwala to also deliver a message in support of the family. A message on behalf of the ANC will be delivered by Nomakuku Semelane, the Deputy Chair of Wazulu Natal African National Congress Provincial Committee.
Well, we come out of that funeral proceedings and if you want to continue to follow the proceedings you can go on
shall separate us from the love of Christ shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword. No, in all of these things, we are more than the conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither present nor future, nor any other powers, neither height or depths, nor anything else in creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Says Otandas. Come. Precious and loving God, we come before your throne of grace this morning, acknowledging your presence in our midst. Nothing is hidden from you, O Lord. You know each and every person gathered at this funeral service. I commit every person in this hall. Let your spirit move in our midst and bring peace. We thank you, Lord, for the life of Dr. Mbongeni Ngema. We praise you for all that he has done for humanity, especially our country. We now commit him into your love and care. As we are gathered here, we remember all the good times we have spent with him. We recount all the blessings we've received through his life. Lord, as we celebrate a life well lived, we ask you through your Holy Spirit to be with us and comfort, especially the Ngema family. Bazo kutubaba ungema, ugulu ilugulo kuhle, walikati banga, ukunukula bambegele lona. Bless this service and all those who will be coming up to render an item on this program. Bless especially our premier, umama unomusa, dube ngube. All the ministers that are present here and all those who are going to come and lead us here. Bless them and be with them. We pray for all these things in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you. you may be seated. to extend our greetings to everyone. I'm requested with my partner to direct the program. I will then request that we work together because we are not going to direct this program if we are not uh, working together in terms of respecting this important uh, gathering. My name is Sipo. My, father, my mother told me that I'm Shomoga. I'm currently requested to preside over uh, this uh, important gathering with my partner. We have already started the program. Part of our responsibility is to manage time. So I will request those that will be given opportunity to come over to try by all means to manage time. Before I call the next speaker, uh, who will give us the ways of comfort, 
by you, Mr. Togozan Mwabe, I want to first to acknowledge I'm a guest just now, and I want to put a disclaimer in advance that I might uh, acknowledge uh, some of the guests and omitted you. Rest assured, there's no intention to uh, 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 not acknowledge you, but at the end of the day, I will uh, observe the protocol. We are with the prima of the province, Umama uh, Matube Ngobe, who is part of us. She is with a number of ministers. Uh, we have a minister in the presidency. We have a minister in the presidency. What I want to acknowledge, oh Mama, Uta Hotel, Mama Kosan, and Lamini Zuma, who is a minister in president with women, youth, and people with disability. Minister for police, Obas Ndosi. I want to acknowledge you. <coughs> Minister for Sports, Art and Culture, uh, Honorable uh, Zizi Gotwa, who is the one who Otila Namtimbe Esguana. Honorable Gotwa, we acknowledge you. We have Minister Angamboni, Minister Kokta. I uh, miss Kanti being my corner. Gafisum acknowledge I'm given the list. Just happened that Tabanye Sibabonile. We also have Deputy Minister Togotela Baba Ujomo. Siafisu uh, Tisi acknowledge. We then have uh, Provincial Executive Council members. I'm members of the executive uh, uh, council in the province or MEC, uh, for sure led by the premier. Then we have MEC uh, Masmelane, MEC for health, but who will be given who is also a leader of the ANC in the province. In the absence of the chair, the deputy chair is a chair, so there is no confusion uh, in case there is MEC uh, Fraser, MEC for Education, we acknowledge you. MEC Zuma for Agriculture, Mamalan. MEC Nkosi for Public Works and Human Settlement. Then we have told that there is MEC for Sport, Art and Culture from Gauteng. Uh, okay, we acknowledge you, uh, Madam. Thank you for. We are part of because we are Africans. Nangu Oslalo O Babundebele was founded by who are Africans. We then have former ministers. I'm not sure what minister Ubaba O Jeff. Rate uh, be fuse corner, but we list as indicated to go to Uzoba corner. Ms. Um, former Prima Utogotela Kabazela Slalo. We want to uh, acknowledge you, uh, Sponga Kakulu. Uh, we then have former Premier also, uh, former Chair with ANC. Gwazulu uh, Natal, Babu Ndebele, Sia, acknowledge We then have a number of ambassadors. And Gwazulu acknowledge one. I'm a position now. Then we have a mayor with Tegu, Babu Kawunda, Sikbonile. We then have uh, members of the National Assembly present here from a national, national assembly parliament. Siafisuwa acknowledge and members of provincial legislature 
who are also part of this uh, important uh, gathering. We then have uh, Director General, Dr. Mkiza. We, I, Gibona, Deputy Commissioner, General Emma Koba, who represent the Provincial Commissioner, and all generals and Songhees Poisa, uh, as corner and Gapagat. HODs and all senior officials from uh, various spheres of government. Uh, then, especially being a lela umdeni, wagange ma wakumete si afisu guti si stobe si being a lele umdeni ni wagange ma wakumete na zozonki zishobo ezikona. And all international guests uh, present, leaders of different political parties. We also want to acknowledge them, business leaders, the creative art industries, Baboni Labour Corner, we want to acknowledge them. Abafundis, for this, Babu Toben, Bonk Abafundis, Abba Corner, Siafi Suguti, Siba Bingelele, and all fellow mourners, we really want to acknowledge all of you and all ladies and gentlemen all protocol it is indeed observed we then want to rush straight to the program as i already indicated that we have a responsibility to manage uh, time the next uh, uh, speaker will be oh, mr uh, so I look at the other Pambeli, Inki and Abage, E. P. Big Two and Angi, Kakunga Benga, too. E. A bona count Abang Bolegis will lack of manger. So I look at the Keeping a letter, wound to Nankudu. Unomusa tube, giving a letter, and a mere tegu, Babkaunda, no longer she bonk at Abacon. See Banda, Lassipini, see that they look cool. Those chess and Jim Tapa, Mamma, in Susembad. See that they look cool, see that Si gesa shanga na na yenga shanga na na yenga mbizi le kukona la yenga tuma kona. Nyoma sine ukungu tuma kwa kenga safeze ganga. Gengu shoge loka yenga tume kona ogwa ame. Kota ngi mkote li ilo mwenye wabafu wabu. Uhambe kataze gile. Ngeba njalama nazareta njwa shuge neganji. Ngoba uinzalo ya sekupaka meni. Uzalo wa maa nazareta. Kushuti mbuzi, izali mbuzi, kushuti na yui nazareta. Uti ngenzi waganjan, lendu kuti ibanda la maa nazareta. Lishitanga nengiti mnaka. Kwa profe, tuwa kuti mkaluende, uti loshu gana. Kota kuhu hamba kambi hambe libe linye. Wakelu hagena, ekupaka meni. Ubabwa kewe nga batuola bantuana. Wakitelo watuzo itoli nga numfana. Mese tola gele kwa tola uti sandra ste. Wabuiselo wakona la wapenko sinilanga. Itinko silanga kanjo weko kwega njina. Upeti msewe nzi ya kizofu lega lendo. Kikuluminte njalo wakutika uhambe. A feast to Tibanda Lamana Zaratali Villain, Namia Tan do Tinga Vinch Aganjak. Yam Jena again get him in Gulcuni Gobatina in Nazareta, Sipin Dugang and Sebezi. As Pendugang and what is Pendugas Tetelizon, Manja Banta Banja, Gunzi, Muti ngenze ke tenjalo mhlambe kodwa ngoba umqalwe ndlela wathi kohamba hambe kwenzeke 
Yafis who tebande Nama Nazareta, Ibe corner led to Pendu and Octetel Rizon. Unga Pendu in the Gutting Ang Petu is so. Goa also go and da, or Fanes Puez Kulumengezu. Sina Kulumu to figure Unga was to come, also you are seen. Sia Fundiso again, Mr. Namalang and I let go conuche over. Yafis who go to Messeham, better Ashtanga ni nocho ova. Aza nga ipe, wet me ipe nyi nguwa tizake. Anga ipe gila ibe kona na maputa kona. Kota pego guhle. Sila shegele uga kulu. Sengi koki nkulumo ngoba iskati nane. Unyaga okala lo seke nana. Unyazile zulu seke nana kumanji. Asi zamunguti... Sishoni Pamakoskaz is no Bulali, Ningan is my Bulali. Guess change and Jeglo Yagam Champel Tati Catilla could shallow Shalogoskazuako. Pini, Ephodiaco, Ayazi, Saint Peter of Tina Abanago, but Tingugnag, well, Abant, buying gun, Gaso song is cut. Unga, Chef Sung, I will pass ten, you pitch, eat a super pet, no me holy wood to think Lindele, Messing or pass ten. Ushale ngo pass ten up to so gukoska selel. Uli ndele mese e paselona. We are boy fully we utineloye na gukoskas. Ulu zenge timbi timbi yo to super pet no me Hollywood. Ya pela goga mwa bege. We are pela gela pore yabo. Hey, I yeah, interest the lender. Go to work because we are managing time. Yes, uh, your face so good, bang a lot cool. Oh, baba, um, we will then uh, invite the mayor of Etewini. Uh, Councillor Kaunda, as well as Uti Asipama, welcome remarks. Bab Kaunda. Thank you very much, uh, program directors. Let me stand on the protocols that have been displayed. Giambisane Namazo Bumuabe. Our big il tamakata bego mama. Umde nogama jogovu. Umde nogam guni na yonkim deni. Epelezela lim deni. Esngayonam sanje. Bonka sebe begi bakona seba acknowledge. Sunborn. Let me take this opportunity to welcome you all to this final send-off of one of the country's most prolific playwright and the genius of his craft, Dr. Mbongeningem. This is also an opportunity to celebrate the life of this giant, our beloved comrade and the revolutionary Umar Jogov. Ladies and gentlemen, we are deeply saddened to learn about the untimely death of this international acclaimed pioneer who used his artistic talent to fight for the liberation of our country. I am reminded amongst many
And therefore, as we mourn this colossal loss, we also remember the contribution Bongeni Ngema has made in the creative industry and his ability to inspire others. Many artists today who have become household names were trained by this iconic artist. As his work gained popularity even internationally, he became one of the ambassadors of the country globally. Thus, his passing is not only a loss to the Ngema family, but to the creative industry and the country as a whole. We would like to thank the Mandlugov family for allowing us to share their son, their brother, and their father. Msebe inzwa lilikawi othala inguna pagate siye tembu kuti izu gulwa neizu gulwa neiza ayo. Zizo wazu kuti isigi peti in ente msebe nzingaba Mandlugov. We strongly believe that the most appropriate way of preserving his legacy will be to forge a strong partnership between government, the private sector, and the creative industry to grow the sector. It is when we have a sustainable creative industry that upcoming artists will realize their potential. Program directors, as we celebrate 30 years of our freedom this year, we must work towards consolidating the democratic gains that Bongeni Ngema and many freedom fighters gave their lives for. We can say without a doubt that through their relentless efforts, South Africa is now better than what it was before 1994. While Ngema was instrumental in documenting life experiences of black people in townships during apartheid, we want to challenge the creative sector to continue telling the story because it is the only way we'll be able to preserve our history and heritage. We are acutely aware that while great strides have been made to change the lives of the people of this country for the better, a great deal still needs to be done. It is the generation of Mongen Gema that helped us to achieve political freedom in our lifetime. Our task now is to take the baton, organize ourselves, and work for the common goal of achieving economic freedom in our lifetime. Kuna lili kolo, e wadzula njega ngane ga madzugov, mena njenge maya la pete wenge itata le ansa le wadzula e ibegi le lila kolo. Utum na otu fanu buiso le zaban, e zanjen zaban taba e ningi le lizwe. Kakulgaz la pa ete wenge e sili hola. As a revolutionary, Mungen Gema was part of the struggles to ensure that black people and Africans in particular are not pariahs in the land of their forefathers. Therefore, in his honor, we must continue to work towards the implementation of one of the fundamental principles of the Freedom Charter, that land shall be shared amongst those who work it. With these remarks, once again, we wish to welcome you all, and let us continue to celebrate the life of this son of the soil. Speaking about death, former President Dr. Nelson Mandela had this to say, and I quote, death is inevitable. When a man has done what he considers to be his duty to his people and his country, he can rest in peace, I close quote. With these wise words of Matiba, let us remember Matiba for the positive impact he had in, in our lives and celebrate the wonderful memories he has shared and left us with. Sitigem deni noga matlogov. Um de nuonke ne shobo zonke agwesanga lungesi. Lili kawe liwa zile gutil bege umaga. Oba legi lempilwen zitu sonkes nama South Africans nom sabu wonke chigelele. Sitting alao mazo gwesanga lungesi. Lala gase matlogov. Siabo. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mayor, um, for welcoming us at Teguini. I have taken note of the, uh, your speech or your welcoming remarks. Uh, I have learned something. I will then request that we, I, all, I, I like what you did, you uh, did not acknowledge everyone because I already done that part. So all speakers, my bears, the Sotelo, 
bangasange ni ma details. Ngapanze kaba pate kwa sngaza sngaza skoshwa la msebenzi. Sotela si bize utatwe tu ukukunua ba azo sfundela utpishwari sotela si sugumen songe mis kukunua ba. Obituary for the late Dr. Mbongeni Israel Ngema, 1955 to 2023. Dr. Mbongeni Ngema, a luminary born on the 1st of June, 1955 in Verilem, Etewini, departed from this world on the 27th of December, 2023. He was the cherished son of Umahadebe and Ubaba U Abraham Ngema. Hailing from the vibrant landscapes of KwaZulu Natal and Luati, Kwasabisa. Ngema's early years unfolded between Verulam and Entluati, where he, where he embarked on his educational journey. At the age of 11, he ventured into a life apart from his parents initially dwelling with his extended family in rural Zululand and later navigating the townships around Devon. Inspired by his father, he embarked on a self-taught music odyssey, mastering the guitar by the age of 12. His thrust with theater commenced in a fertilizer factory where he provided a guitar accompaniment for an amateur play. He unexpected, the unexpected illness of an actor thrust Ngema into a limelight, making the beginning of his theatrical pursuit. Joining forces with fellow actor Pesim Twa, he co-wrote and rehearsed the iconic play Waza Albert which garnered international acclaim after being accepted by Market Theatre in Johannesburg. An accomplished thespian, Ngema founded his black-owned company, Committed Artist, and crafted subsequent masterpieces like Asina Mali and international renowned Sarafina. The latter received widespread recognition, earning him a Tony Award nomination for direction. For his direction, Ngema was nominated for a Tony Award. Next was Sarafina, which went on to become a major international musical. After an engagement at the Market Theatre, it toured New York City's Lincoln Center and then quickly moved to Broadway where he stayed for two years before embarking on a major U.S. tour. In the meantime, Dr. Ngema assembled a second company in South Africa and sent them touring in Europe, Australia and Japan. The Broadway production was nominated for five Tony Awards and the original cast recording was nominated for a Grammy Award. Sarafina, was, Sarafina also won 11 NAACP Image Awards. Dr. Ngema's artistic legacy extended to numerous other productions, including Township Fever, Mama, Maria Maria, The Zulu, The Musical, 1906, Bambata, The Freedom Fighter, The House of Shaga, The Magic at 4 a.m., and The Lion of the East. As a versatile musician, 
Dr. Ngema enchanted audiences with hit songs such as Was Are My Fotloza, Freedom Is Coming Tomorrow, Sarafina, Libuyile, and Istimela Sasezola. On the 27th of December, 2023, Dr. Mbongeni Ngema concluded his earthly journey leaving behind a legacy that transcends borders and resonates in the hearts of those touched by his artistry. He is survived by his wife, children and grandchildren, sisters and brothers. In honoring his memory, let us celebrate the indelible mark he left on the realm of the arts, culture and linguistics. Dr. Ngema's spirit lives on through the enduring re resonance of his contribution to the world stage. Rest in peace, Madlogovu, Mgad, Ntusi Nkomo. We evoke the spirit of Uskwele Kwele. Awamogele, Madlogovu, you fought a noble fight. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mam Kuku. I think it is befitting that uh, you are the one who had to perform this task. As those of us who were close to Mam Kuku know that it was your brother uh, who introduced Dungema to the entertainment industry. Uh, we thank you, Naongo Mdenuenu. Sizo kelo kutige. A Sikele Umfoabo, Kamakov, a Unkanka, Azo Kuluma on behalf of Umdeni, a Unkanka Ukuliswe Unge, Manamabea Bafoabo, a Kangabuso and Delangelos, a Ukuliswe Unge, my was in the original cast, yes, Rafina, a Minister Godwa. The only production we have managed to gain is South Africa which is on Broadway. Since Sarafina, we have not been on Broadway again, and it's an indictment. Hopefully, we will rise and we will come up with another production that can go on Broadway. Umakiogovu, uibegirin duge banka. Gipkala ke samgele unkanka uhamsana nukoskazwa kumesisinge. Dear family and friends and loved ones, today as we gather to bid farewell to my dear brother, Mbongeni Ngema, words seem to be insufficient to express the depth of our loss and the enormity of his impact in our lives. Mongeni was more than just a brother. He was a guiding, guiding light and a source of strength and a beacon of love. His presence brought joy to our lives and his absence leaves an irreplaceable void. His passion for life was infectious he approached every challenge with unwavering determination, inspiring all of us to strive for the best, whether through his artistry, his kindness, or his unwavering support, Mongeni touch, Mongeni touched the hearts of many. He leaves behind a legacy that will endure through the stories we share the lessons we've learned and the love he embedded in our hearts. While he may no longer walk beside us, his spirit will forever live on in our cherished memories. Mbongeni, your laughter, your wisdom, and your love will deeply be missed. As we bid farewell to you, we find solace in knowing that you have found peace. 
we carry our, your spirit with us as we continue on our journeys. Forever grateful for the privilege of having you in our lives. Rest in eternal peace, dear brother. Your memory will be a blessing that will continue to guide us through these life's trials and triumphs. Until we meet again, farewell. See you, <coughs> program it was also in the la oma comete i'm just checking in peggy lingy and is a fellow book on a awesome supporter oma is an app on a pambi Kumete, we na umama wa sekaya, umakikogofa shie na njongo kuskazu wake. Ozo tela ubega. Ama kama mbalo, I hope, <coughs> ozo strong enough. Gizo tela njisimbega izalele. Umakubane challenge. I am here in Tsunyewe, Umdeni. Oka Kumete, Tsunyewe, Utatwezu, Ome, Ekele Nwami, Ogu Tingzo Mtulela, Umlaezo, Mailana, Umyenuaki, Mbongangem. Mpeleke Zola Futi, Umama Wami, Ozalayo, Umandengu, Ogu Yena, Inzalabandu, Skashwe Futi, Abako na Basikaya, Bagamante Mungu, who actually managed to be with us today, and all the committees, Sabonguti, Nipasile, which is the Sviga, Lelanga Namslange, and thank you as well to the Gama family for really giving us an opportunity to um, contribute to today's historic event and ensure that Sibega uh, Usbali, as I always refer to him, in a dignified and respectable manner. Uma Kumet has tasked me to read a message, the last message to Babungem. Okay. Right. As I was saying, Uma Kumet has actually tasked me and mandated me to just Uglurisa Mazambala regarding the passing of Umienuake, Babungem. Tambulam Lekentaki, Samlela Samselanga. Stututu Sami, Stof Sam Samalathi. I am at pains in accepting the finality that this day presents. It is hard for me to accept the reality that I will not see you come through that door anymore. I keep thinking it's a dream that I will awaken from, or perhaps someone playing a joke on me. But then again, the days that have passed following your unexpected passing serve as confirmation that this is indeed not a dream. You truly have found your peace, my logo of one. How do I begin to put together the pieces of my puzzle when the main part, you, are no longer around? The 17 years which you've dedicated to our union have given me more than just a husband. You, you truly did become my best friend, my mentor, and the center that held everything together for me. You are a legend to many, but to me, you will always remain my husband. Nyabonga Minuami, Nogum Tanda, Nogum Sig, Nogum Segela, Umtali Nabapanti, Bangit Nelewena, Gau Kulaga, Omoyawa, Command Logovuami, Ube Tonga Elise, M. Denini, Nasizinga Nain. Galog Bonga, 
emdenini wonke okwangema nasezinganeni zami o Africa nomkakhe umtombi kanye nabo bonke abangema nomangema futhi just ukubalwa abambalwa ngendima eniyidlalile emlungiselelweni oku okubeba obaba wenu ngesizotho ngenhlonipho nangothando I thank izingane zami that I've worked with as part of the various productions under the Committed Artists banner. I thank the cast and management for working tirelessly over the past few days to ensure a befitting send-off for Baba Wetu. I thank the national and provincial government for the support we've received during this trying time. I am grateful to Ikebele, to funerals, and everyone who has contributed positively to today's historic send-off. Gibonga is a sending is a and those beyond borders for the words of encouragement and support you've received as a family. We are eternally grateful and indebted to all of you for your support. And finally, I would like to present the following poem, which I had actually had presented as part of the memorial service last Wednesday. When I lost you, I wish I could see you one more time. Come walking through that door. But I know that is impossible, as I will hear no vo your voice no more. I know you can feel my tears, and you don't want me to cry, yet my heart is broken, because I cannot understand why someone so special to me had to live. I pray that God will give me strength and somehow get me through as I struggle with the heartache that came when I lost you. Hamburger <laughs> Lulu Hamburu Prince Lega Cool, Cotum Condo, Osuele Zankin Zako, a Sunday of your wolf, Sunday and to Senko. Hey, I nearly sang that. <clears throat> Before I start, I would like to. Uh, I would like to call my wife on stage. Please come, my baby. Uh, I would like to call Sbusi Songema on stage. I would like to call Mangema Ngema on stage. I would like to call my, my son, Buto. Where are you, son? I would like to call Nala as well on stage. Gizobam Fishane. Uh, they are coming to stage as part of my, my minutes. just one line a crocodile where he says I remember that photograph I took a picture of it um, let me just take it home uh, memories Eh, nezinto ozenzile gitina eh, uhambo lwethu beluluhle kakhulu usaphila uNkulunkulu esiboleke wena eh, bengishilo ukuthi besingakaze size siphambane eh, bengubona uma sengibona ukuthi hayi sekhona uline esengweqile ngikhetha ukwehla but uh, I remember you in a, a most beautiful way, and I thank you just for the garden of flowers that you have left, um, for me especially. 
most will wonder why is this boy um, maybe not so much emotional, but it's because of the flowers you left. Uh, like I'm saying, you know, you could go into that corner of the garden and there's beautiful memories. There's so much that I can look at to try and, 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 and preserve being emotional. Um, I would like to thank friends that have come abroad, uh, messages, uh, you know, that have just flooded me. Uh, this week, it really meant so much to me. I knew that many of you really, really care. <laughs> and um, I'm so grateful. Jogovu, I did not foresee that you will make me work so hard, you know, to put you to rest today. Um, I've had sleepless nights. I haven't slept at all. Uh, even yesterday, we went to places, and Ukatala Namanje, I couldn't even walk into the ICC because I was dirty. I just had to wait for everybody else to to vanish, and then I could go to toilets and just, you know, try to clean myself. Uh, but we so, Nyabong and Tusi and Gomo, so Salisukumbul and Jalo, and we will keep the light burning for you. Like you will normally say, Ageko Umundong at Tintatin, Yabong. Siabong at Yogovu. Now, Susotola Entertainment. A Susan Ibiza Nyoti Entertainment, go to Yinga and his gang gamer, a as cool silly lazy. You can come on stage, guys. The cast is a lay stage, includes Abantuana Babu Serafina, the original, and Abantuana in different productions. A presentation here about Isabanima segment, our two is not going to be long. Uh, there's going to be the first segment about Baenza is committed artists. And then go 2005, we were asked by your government uh, to put up a musical to commemorate 50 years after the death of Uchert Sibande and the Potato Boycott. Uh, and Ungema trained a number of young people in that province. Uh, the name of the show was The Lion of the East. Uh, the second segment will be presented by the, those young people from Pumalanga province who were part of that uh, musical, Ilan of the East. Welcome on stage, committed artists. Thank you. Thank you. 
Amen, 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 amen. Amen, amen. Let's go. Can you? Michelle will cool it down. Be avant to another but a committee that is. Hallelujah. Thank you ever so much. All right. Take one microphone. Hold up with that. Such 
Chige mati laini Uwe mama Helele mango Shenge ngane ngane Welcome to the baby Walks of some summer love Tanda no mufuta baby Iyo Iyo We love you amibo Awe mama Helele mango Chenge my father is self-raising. I'm a twilight strat. My father no my father. We mama, we love you, we baby. Oh, 
celebrate the theater on Broadway. Ah. And my name is on the Walk of Fame as one of the greatest writers of the 21st century. Action! It's that stupid constable, Sabella. He really wants you, Sarafina. Wants who? Hey, don't mess up my day. Hey, where you spent last night, Sarafina? In bed. In bed, eh? Yeah? Not running around the streets and training them schools, eh? Yeah? They burned the school? Oh, they burned the school. And where were you? In bed. <laughs> I can imagine. No school, I'm going to be a big smile for me, Sarafina. Where is the joke? Those children of 1976, those who came from Soweto, Edube, Orlando, those who came from Midlands, Tipkloof, those who came from Jamine, Shawel, Piri, those who came from Mlazi, those who came from Gwamashu, those who came from Kukuletu, those who came from Nyanga East, Walanga, those who came from New Brighton, those who came from Mbali, those who came from Lamonville, those who came from Eskawin and Teleni, those who came from Banangoma, those who came from Echozini, to all the children of Africa, to all the children of Africa, to all the children of Africa. It's important for us as elders, you know, to a nation without a history is a lost nation. You have to know your roots in order to know where you are going to. Hey, <laughs> You know, those guys came with hippos, saracens, tanks, spiders, thunder chariots, helicopters, and all those big army machines. I'm told the, the performance is not complete. Uh, but you know one minute in the short time. Karingo, Uringo no band. Bab. Okay, we are we are moving on. Uh, 
kusho kuti sizobuye sibuye sizocela e ozokhulumela ozokhuluma nathi ngembongeni ngema academy u Mr Sihe Pam e asondele ezengaphambili e azothatha u 2 minutes wakhe e bese siqhubeka nabanye Um, I've been requested by the Ngema family to speak very briefly about two projects that Uma Jogovu was busy with at the time of his passing and the plans that he had for the year 2024. As you know, Umbo Ngema has been training artists for over 40 years. He's been training musicians, actors, choreographers, etc. So in 2021, Ubabungema wrote a letter to the Cat Sita requesting accreditation to open a Mbongeningema Academy for Performance Excellence. So what he wanted was to have an independent institution with its own qualifications. And uh, we started working on this in 2021. We were working with some consultants, putting together the paperwork, and uh, I'm very pleased to say that in June 2023, on the 9th of June, the Cat Sita wrote a letter to Dr. Mbongeningema granting him his accreditation. And that was like a turning point in his quest for his own college. It's like there was a, a fire that came in his bones he started working tirelessly. We would meet and work till the late evenings. And then eventually on the 15th of November, just two months ago, we had a strategy session with the team that he had put together. And uh, many of them are here today. And his plan was to open his academy in the first week of April 2024 in Durban. Uh, we found a building at the corner of Smith Street and Alwal Street here in Durban. Uh, he was very excited about his academy. He had spoken to so many people, um, including Professor Chris John, who is here with us today, and many other educators and experts in the um, education sector. The other project that U Ubaba Umbongeningema was busy with at the time of his passing, um, as you know, Uma Jogovu loved music, he loved drama, he loved, he loved the creative sector. But he also loved creatives, he loved musicians, he loved other actors and, and other people in the sector. So he wanted to open a Mbongeningema Museum of African Greatness. And the whole idea behind this museum was to tell the history of him, himself, as, as an artist, as a creative, uh, those who knew him personally will, will know that Uma Jogovo was a very passionate historian. He knew his history. He knew African history, Zulu history, of course, South African history. And uh, he was extremely uh, passionate about sharing that history. So he wanted to open this museum called the Mbongeningema Museum. We worked on the document. We worked on the proposals. Uh, we wrote letters. I remember we met with Eteguini Parks and Recreation. And uh, in 2024, we were going to have a six month exhibition of his museum. And in that museum, he was also going to celebrate other artists and uh, other, other, other you know, creatives who were his contemporaries. He mentioned names like Miriam Makeba, he mentioned Brenda Farsi, he mentioned uh, some who are still alive, Abo Yvonne Chaka Chaka. Um, he mentioned African creatives like Yusin Dor, Salif Keita. Uh, these are people that he wanted to share their stories in his museum. He also spoke about sporting personalities. You might not know this, but Omar Jogovo was very good friends with uh, some of the soccer players that have uh, kind of shaped South African football. And he spoke about Aysen Tuelengu, he spoke about Teenage Lada and many others. So as I sit down, I just want to say uh, to the Ngema family that we are as committed as ever to continue with his legacy and with his projects 
at everything that he planned and discussed, we are committed to continue with it. And Kumajogovu Ngiti Siabonga, thank you for trusting us and for bringing us into your life and allowing us the incredible opportunity and privilege to work with you. Thank you. Yo, that is good. Thank you very much. Uh, let's clap hand for the performers as well, please. Before I invite the next speaker, Ubaba Uchiko Twala will speak on behalf of creative art industry. I want to acknowledge uh, Umama Uyuvon Chaka Chaka, who's also part of us here. Laeseli uh, Kona. She acknowledge the sticks marbles. She feels so good in I acknowledge because I saw a good day. Maktum Zawala saw a good day. So she went to the show again. She was a foot. Eh, mama, basa, 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 ibambe. Si ibambe na. Eh, ubaba uchi kotwala, ozo, 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 kuluma, as already indicated, bese guba ili, edis fit black mamba, ozo, na mayama artist akona. As officer uguti, we invite to Mr. Chiko Twala, as a ngapambi ili, ozo kuluma, on behalf of creative arts, uh, industry. Some child is under Beza and a family. But I look at what DJ you select and a cut of speed a band to Abel's Lelling Goma as a Baba Ungema, Zobam Nandi, because we are here to celebrate the life of Baba Ungema. Thank you. Uh, San Bonani. And I'm Sanje, Nyaz Gutuna, my ministers, La, Gutuna, my premier, mayors, but today I'm not going to call any of you with your respective titles. I want to refer to you as brothers and sisters in honor of Mbongeni Ngema, simply because during the days of apartheid, we were real brothers and sisters not the enemies that we are today. Today, I want us to be ordinary citizens in honor of Mbongeni and reboot our conscience, reboot, and take it back to the days of apartheid, where we used to love one another as black people. What we are seeing today is disgraceful. To honor this man today, Ben Kela Guti, Asbamba Neni, Sibe Munye. I work with Mbongeni on two projects. The peace song, when there was political violence in South Africa. Mbongeni, myself, and Duman Rupu gathered and said, We need to stop this true song. Mbongeni was very, very is one of the person who was very passionate about black people, black lives. What was happening in KZN between the ANC, not in, in, fact, in fact, not KZN, all over South Africa, between the ANC and uh, Inkata Freedom Party, was really disturbing to Mongain. Hence, we actually gathered together and put together a project called the Peace Song, which uh, did very well. All the proceeds were actually uh, given to the um, the process went to the victims of violence at that time. Uh, today, Mbongeni uh, and I were once assigned by the, the then Minister of Transport, Jeff Khadebe, to compose songs for the ANC election campaign. And while we're busy creating songs, terrible things that were happening in our country. I don't, want to dwell, I don't want to dwell too much on what he said, but corruption 
was really hurting Bongeni. To honor him. I see you saying corruption is one banana before it. Uh, I have to be very short, uh, but I would like to say this in closing. When I started my musical career in the early 80s, the likes of Yuma Sikela, Miriam Akeba, Letambule, Jonas Gwangwa were exiled because of singing apartheid songs. Protest songs were a criminal offense in this country, we all know that. But one person, in fact, not one, two. Mbongeni ngeme nzwa kembuli. They said, ama punu. Wabakomba wat? Mbongeni. He kept the fire burning. He sang protest songs throughout. He said, I'm not going to exile. So in Luisa Konala. And he did exactly that. He is the one who inspired the likes of Brenda Farsi, Yvonne Chaka Chaka, myself, to start singing protest songs. Without Mbongeni, definitely we wouldn't have created songs like Good Black Woman for Brenda Farsi, Too Late for Mama, I'm Missing Winnie Mandela by Yvonne Chaka Chaka. So all the protest songs that we created was because of Mbongeni Ngema's bravery. Kumapu, Nangabasabi. Besbasaba, who was good. I remember when Mama Winnie Mandela came into my house at Chico. Nesura ulon fano ube KZ in la Sowetu. Ufiga la a white WCA. But he, he was doing what he likes with Amapun. And there's, there's, there's nothing that he did. He encouraged. That's why it, most of us, he really inspired us. This is the man who made some of us what we are today. In conclusion, ministers, mayors, Nonke and according to Yangang in business, honorable today. My brothers and sisters, Yan Kela, you play house. Let Devin, let's name it after our brother here. He deserves it. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Sabonga Baba, Twala. You spoke very well. You spoke like a leader. You understand that we are here. Gifisa to acknowledge Babu Ashelim Shope. Okona and Parat. Basically, uh, I then acknowledge Obaba Mzwakemboli. I have taken note of what we have said, uh, Mr. Twala, that these comrades, they said they were going to fight a Kaya, nearby exile, who are fighting inside are not going anywhere. <clears throat> I would then have been given powers as a program director. I know that you might have a, a program. A person that I'm going to invite is not part of the, co uh, of the program. I want all of us to rise and invite the former Prim of KwaZulu Natal, Obaba, Thank you, program directors. 
Thank you to the Mogeni family, Mogeni Ngema family, who has given South Africa, who have given us so much. We thank you for having made it possible for him to do that. Colleagues, Sokbingelelwe, fellow ministers, Premier, and your government, thank you very much. As you see, I'm not in the program. It's called Thai Check. Let me just make a few remarks. In my earlier life, I was a, a librarian. And uh, according to South African law, every item ever, ever published is required by law to deposit at the State Library in Pretoria and at the National Library in uh, Cape Town. Every item, every item ever published in South Africa. If that library, State Library in Pretoria were to be bent down, it will set back the knowledge of the people of South Africa about themselves very far, very far. We will know less and less about, about ourselves. Whereas now, we are was good. Sifuna lea ngwati, lea leta, na lea signature. Okto ya sainwa ungosi utingana. No pitri tif. Sifunu gwe ibona ngobo. Ma ikona. Go fanili be kona state library. Ma inge kola pe state library which it doesn't exist. Ma utike ishi lele library. Uso usho uguti slashege lwe utina. The loss would be immeasurable if someone were to ask you in sympathy, Konja wa karaganga the library, yipping what we funal upon. It's not a book, it's not a song, it's not a lyric, it's the whole library of we funa and which makes you you to be whole, to be alive. Igwenza u file ubuena as a champion check. Dupree will put it, it's that thing, that egu tata lapa igbege lapa. That feeling, it gives you that feeling that you had before you have the feeling that you are having now. It was a feeling of completeness, of confidence to face whatever the future held for us. We had this confidence because with us, we had Mbongeringem. The shock that we received on the 27th of all places, Mbongeringem, as you lily and quadrain, Kube into a double pain. Ubena le appeal it. Politicians argue their case, argue their matter. Artists don't argue, they state their matter. So, <clears throat> so Pixley Gassayama will say the demon of tribalism and this and that and that must be buried and so forth. Babu Shabala Labenumbung in game, Abezuti. Singama Venda, Zulu, Kosa, Singama Venda. Yeah, well, just like that. And you, you just, it gets in naturally. And the only argument in a thesis, in the Ibona, we are going to see the bed. So I'm going to jump on my song. Whereas if uh, I was putting it politically, I would just go in the history of evolution and all that and all that. Gantilapa <laughs> Ibewaj. He makes you lay effect on it becomes like not in the apparently to you, but it becomes like a remembered experience. Oh to yeah man. Yeah man, no may I come bring on yeah. You see it, it's just part of you. It's not like something external to you. I'm an artist again French Revolution. 
Sasfundi in what is Ning Lapanogota Yukumbuli, in what Yukumbulayo, a Kulmagas in a French Revolution, or Charles Dickens' Tale of Two Cities. O dear, now we're going to be a island, Ukwagunjan, Lapagunjan. Zongel is in a Usuma Boga Gota, a point of reference, who? O Charles Dickens. Ganjalo is a saga less fun than Jango 1976. How can it happen within 1976? Aguna. What, what, what do people of South Africa say about it? Because Masui Buga International Yonkel and a turning point. Until Mongeni Ngema comes with Sarafina, Uti, yeah, that's it. That I think psychology, I think this and that, we are born, Uti, Nali Punung up, Nancy Ngane up. I kind of. Go accept the patron scatlers, recruiters, recruitabantu, Bongana MK, Beggars, Dipate, Liapongo, but South Africa is not good for guerrilla warfare. There's not enough shrubbery. For Nagbe Nama shrubs, who's been a guerrilla warfare. Oh, the young one is at a coach shrub, a sitting out. A colon is Chana and teacher, Tate, Quota Chigella and Amache, we so surrender. So this is what. Umbogeni then captured through Sarafina. And then, Ukubegi Lelapo, I remember, as someone was saying, he was a, a very keen historian. We used to discuss na Nabanyabani, a bit discuss Nabu, particularly about Zulu history, which was a contested terrain. And uh, it happened, Umkuluake was part and we'll, we'll discuss this and we'll say, how do you have this history not be turned around we are now extolling back to the tribe back to this but it was umtelela ofana no waulio oskukun waulio eastern cape waulio everywhere it was part of this tributary and uh, in no time when it had come up with a very beautiful concept of a play, the Zulu. Why bond a my bag and yasangan yasangan? But where is the money? Then, what no, I say, Matiba. Then we made an appointment with Matiba. Matiba gave us an appointment on a Sunday afternoon. Sahel Lapan. Wafik Wai Berger, he was a wonderful storyteller. Wai Berger, Matiba, Wai Berger, Wai Berger, Wai Berger, Wai Matiba. Right, go ahead. And indeed, the funding of the Zulu. And that's how Mungeni was. And uh, the role of the artist is epitomized when the issues were raised on Wednesday, I was very happy when the uh, Premier Nomsatube Ngobe responded to Gutsi. She is dealing, the, her government is dealing with the matter of the artist, like other governments, other provincial governments elsewhere. But as a negative challenge, my artist, Gutsi, there are certain things that you must do, discuss, she was not saying no, but she was saying, let's discuss this matter. Not Gutsi, it should happen or not happen, but how do you do these things? So that this positive, uh, approach is very important to build on. Uh, we are no longer being asked to, to call upon, call upon, call upon, but we say we can do this thing. Umbongeni loved peace. It bothered him, Uguti, a province, like it has bothered uh, Minister Utele. Uti ikone violence, ikone ulame, ikone crime, ikone violent crime also. But u minister utele bese e balulu lo guti au. Ote ama ban be u five benze le crime. Uso chulu three wako na wazu natal. Haibo. Ma be ngaga na wazu natal. Kuzwa in kone nte tile okfane lesi lumi serap. That was a very brave statement, a truthful statement, but truth is not enough. You need courage as well to be able to, to state it. 
And uh, that Umbogen is something that worried him quite a lot. That's why Ekuluma Lapa Koniskati Ama artist not to discuss that all the time I'm a struggle I'm an artist are struggling with survival in order to be able to practice their craft. So that struggle all the time in it dinner or to search and so on no whole main in a year. But on this question, your dame sing vala, sing trina, ne violence, ne crime. Ukona e part is a sea sharer, no bong in Menagan Kanga, a son to a no Kanga elsewhere, but Saskas will sang an isa listened. Econing what he has a Galatia five, verse fifteen, about Mission Jalo Babudu. It Uma Nizana Nilumana. Capellani, Ugutinkan Katan. A little message, Ubabu Umbogening Asian and Sanji. Capellani, Ugutinkan Katan. Yeah, the Mazoctin, I have Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Ndebele, we <clears throat> want to call, to invite uh, Mama Noma Kuku Smelane, Ozo Koloma, on behalf of the African National Congress, as requested uh, by the family because Babungema Ohambe AANC. program directors, I do wish to stand on the protocol that has been established in greeting all the leadership of the African National Congress that is with us, all the NEC members, Akona, leaders of government, but most importantly, Umde Nwagwangema, Numde Nwagwakumete, Sia Bingelela. Sia Bingelela, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, Artists are corner, bonke, sbingelele gubo bonke, abanati namtlanje sbingelele nakma comrades. Comrades and friends, today we are gathered with heavy hearts to bid farewell to a truly great South African and a giant of our nation. The beloved, one of a kind genius that was ukomre tumbonge ningem. In this moment of profound loss, we are here to extend our deepest condolences 
and to offer our love and support to the Ngema family together with Ngosgazi Nomde Nwonke. To all his friends, his colleagues, his comrades, and to everyone else whose life was touched by Umad Logovu's life and extraordinary presence. The truth is that it is impossible to talk about the history of our struggle in South Africa, Unga Kulumi Logovu. Umangabe Uzo Kuluma, go June 16, it will be impossible in this day and age, descriptive words such as heavy, weight, thespian, or legend get thrown around very easily, so much so that they end up losing their essence and meaning. This is because sometimes they are used to describe people who don't fully deserve them. However, in the case of Ukomre Tumbong Eningem, we are talking about a larger-than-life character, who has all of those descriptions and much more. A man whose name preceded him, a recognized face with a beautiful mind, a man who was the embodiment of the stage and all the incredible power of artistic expression in our country. He was not merely a play writer, but a cultural icon, as Ubabu Ndebele indicated, a courageous and visionary storyteller whose narratives captured and resonated deeply with the work of the African National Congress and the kind of nation it was fighting for. His creative ability was unmatched. And we are very glad that Abaningi Babo were indeed supported by Umadrugov. His storytelling became a major catalyst for change. At a time when it was neither popular nor safe to do so, Mbong Eningema aligned his creative endeavors with the African National Congress's goals. He used his platform to amplify the ANC's quest for justice, equality, and freedom. His work not only reflected the ANC's values, but also evoked and inspired a sense of activism among the audience, encouraging countless individuals to join the struggle for liberation. Ikini Soguti, each generation, year two, each generation just up before us was greatly inspired by the work Kababa Ungem or by the work Kakumrit Umbongenigem. In an era where the truth was often silenced, Umbongenigem as plays such as Waza Albert, Sarafina, Asina Mali transcended the realm of entertainment. Through these plays, Umat Logov fearlessly confronted the oppressive regime and exposing its brutality and challenging the status quo. He helped bring to light the harsh realities of apartheid, igniting difficult and, and dangerous conversations at a time when doing so could be punished by incarceration or death. If Ukipsin Kenta was the Martin Luther King of our liberation, then Umat Logov was certainly Umalcom X of our times. Both Gibson Kent and Bongeningema used their God-given talents to fight racial oppression using the medium of theater, television, film, and music. They used these mediums to agitate for change and to make it clear to South Africans that they should never accept being, being treated as second-hand or second-class citizens in the land of their forefathers. His work captivated audiences worldwide and disproved many bad stereotypes that the world believed, not only about South Africans, but about Africa as a whole. His simul while simultaneously flying very high the South African flag, he was a torchbearer for many South African artists of any kind who wanted to spread their wings. Umatlogovu, together with people like Kumshengu of the Black, uh, Lady Smith Black Mambazo, had to break down many doors for that to be possible. They had to learn how to crawl and then walk so that other entertainers, but South Africa, can then run and subsequently fly, as some of South Africa's proudest global cultural exports. Mbong Enigema's bravery knew no bounds. In the early 80s, when he and Pesimtwa had written and began performing a play in the trans sky, the authorities heard that the story was anti-establishment and became very angry. Both Ungem and Umtua were promptly arrested and kept in detention for months. Upon their re re release, he then went to Johannesburg. 
Umadlogovu confronted not just the apartheid government, but also its collaborators, the, Afri the Inkata Freedom Party. Reflecting on Bongeni Gema's life, one of South Africa's most uh, foremost authors, Fred Kumalo, writes, and I quote, in 1986, Ungema wrote a play that almost cost him his life, Asinamali. And, and Asinamali was inspired by the life of social activist Umsizi Dube, who led the people of Lamonville Township in their refusal to pay rent and raids for the city council of Deben. For leading this anti-rent strike, Dube was killed. When, when Asinamali was performed in Pumalanga Township, just west of Deben, Inkata people who had heard that the play vilified their leader, came to the Glacier Hall to, step the, to stop the performance. Outside the hall, they killed a man they mistook for Ungem. But that man's name was Uchef Shongwe, one of Ungem's associates. This is the prize that many in the province, in the country, paid for defying apartheid collaborators together with the apartheid administra administrators and for being on the side of our glorious liberation movement. And that we will never forget. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the kind of history some people want us to hide today. There are countless others who are murdered just because they, or there were countless others who were murdered just because they supported the African National Congress. After Shongwe's murder, Matlogovu fled to Joburg, where he soon started working on the script of Sarafina. It is now a matter of history books that Sarafina went on to become an immediate hit with the Americans, Singasakulumige, South Africa, launching the careers of many performers who are today major stars in the field of entertainment. They also appreciate Uguti, Italian Labo, La and Etwagu. There was also a huge demand for Sarafina all over the world, so much so that the couple created a second, secondary, uh, a second Sarafina company that would be based in Europe, and I think we heard that earlier on. As we all know, the story of Sarafina became so powerful that Hollywood wanted a movie made out of it. Working with imaging film uh, maker Anand Singh at the time to make Sarafina, Mbongeni helped launch the careers of many performers. Ladies and gentlemen, two years ago, Gang Tunwe Bumsebenzi Gahulumen in Ochun 16, and I engaged a group of young people, and I wanted them to understand, or I wanted to know if they understood what we were uh, uh, commemorating on that day. And as I was asking them, Bayazi in Uguti Kwagwenz again in Ochun 16, Yine Slang and a young 12 year old raised her hand very excitedly. And, and, you know, she was saying, me, me, komba mina, komba mina, and I did. Ngiambuza, gugutu chun 16, kwa gwenze again. Utik mina, with, the, with all the confidence in the world, June 16, yi birthday ga sarafin. <laughs> now, of course, you would understand that I did not leave it there. I had to clarify it. But the point that was being made by this young lady is that they are able to learn history through the work of Babumbong And that will live with us for the rest of our lives and for generations to come. That is the kind of work that Ubabungema did. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we can never fault Americans about the history of the civil rights movement. They make sure Uguti Baya is celebrated, Baya Kumbula, Baya commemorated all the time. The Jews never tire of teaching their children about the Holocaust. But somehow, in South Africa, we are expected suddenly to forget about the liberation struggle and what we went through as the black people. That is something we must never agree to. That is something we must never accept. It is very easy for those who benefited during the time of struggle to say, because they benefited. But Tina, as a people, it is something that we must always remember so that we don't go back to that. Those of us who are left behind owe it to Madlogovu to ensure that his theatrical work, 
such as Asina Mali, Waza Albert and Sarafina is preserved and gets absorbed into our school curriculum. I hope we will be able to do so because that is how you get your history uh, to be known by generations to come. In as much as the ANC will continue to strive to deliver a better South Africa for all, we owe our children the truth about what happened in Sharpville on the 21st of March 1960. We owe them the truth about what happened during the Soweto uprisings on the 16th of June in 1976. They must grow up knowing what the state of emergency was about in the mid-1980s. They must have an appreciation for the sheer horror of the Buipatong massacre, where 45 people were killed in 1992, and the racial killing of 36 people during the Phoenix massacre in July 2021. This is the only way to ensure our young people get to know and appreciate our painful history. A history that is written in the blood of many people who lost their lives while fighting for us to be free. It is the only way that our children can grow up knowing who they are and where our country comes from. Indeed, by teaching them about our history using the work of people like Umar Logov, that is the only way that our beloved country can avoid repeating the mistakes of the past. Looking back, I feel immensely honored uh, that I was one of the last people probably who enjoyed this performance. There was a beautiful pe performance that Umar Logov had uh, or gave in August. And as he was performing, I actually just wanted to ask him, what informed it? But if you listen to the lyrics, we are lives good. I go serious and pay a little fig. Fortunately, I had hoped to I will be able to do so. As we bid farewell to Umar Logovu, let us honor his memory and legacy by taking up the mantle that he has so courage courageously carried. Let us continue to be agents for, of change, to be champions of justice, and guardians of freedom, just as he was. Indeed, as the African, Con African National Congress in Guazulu Natal, we support the call to rename Playhouse to be Mbongeni Ngema House. <laughs> Finally, on behalf of the ANC and the people of South Africa, I wish to extend our heartfelt and innermost gratitude to Umat Logovu for his lifelong dedication and immense contribution to our liberation and prosperity as a country, but to the work that he did in developing those that, or generations that followed him in the arts, but generations that followed him in politics, as I indicated, majority of us were indeed uh, informed or influenced by his work. Sitindela and Klemadugov, Stenjwa, Dusienkom, Muji, Wena Wasengwen, Madugov, Onganga, Onganga. Hey!
Siyabonga, siyabonga makomitet atista make. Siyabonga kakulu makomitet atista make. Siyabonga, siyabonga. Ibambe kipiza, ibambe, ibambe, ibambe siswam. Ibambe siswam sizo ikipiza. Sizo igala na leo ngo maglungi. Sia, sia bonga kakulu makomiteta amake. Em, sizo kelu kutiskubege si logo si apnolecha eh, abagwi industry. Njibakshiwo uguti ube na bandu azwana na abogu sports. Eh, ukonu Maria Mariela eh, ukona wabule chaba. Siyazi kukuti ababuga Imechiket 4am Bazo kukumbula Lapikulu makona Gala makawe amanye ao Njibasa kuzo biza Uminista wakwa Sports Art and Culture Ngiafuna ukuti ngiti Ungema no hulu menu wasa South Africa. Kuningi ogwe nzegile. We ungema was supported by the government wasa South Africa. Kwa tafuti nyafunu kuhu shuguti. Kukona ikati na ungema koke kwa ni prize ngezi nito enge nzo wango uyena. Em... Gomungu ni agasa kila nani mamu ukosa zana kama inzo mangu musa kumbole inonge masubata tu. Reflecting on Indo Sarafina tu, and how both of them umamu ukosa zana, inonge ma felt uguti they need to tell their side of the story because it was never told. Kote ngangu sho uguti because of Sarafina tu, unge ma safari aiga ngani? He lost almost everything. If it was not for the intervention, Gababus Bundebele. If it was not for that intervention, it was difficult. We spent numerous nights, Gabab Ndebele, with Vile Kaya and Plazini, conceptualizing things, and we got support. Unge Magnasa Komuto Sondele Tuzewak. God Bam Debele stood with us and we felt he supports the government once again. Galesos card. Ubabu me ukuluma la koningo makulume nga yaga yisho nguti ini kamalayo. But I want to say again, after nge me releasing ngo memandia, he paid a personal price. It was very painful. Kwa afu nge kwa ba ante bak tina tu ingo ba mako so nge kwa mtaga no no mchali ababelege lela ukzo support unge ma at the time. Because kwa gunzi ma not kanyani. Kwa atwa he kept on knocking on the mnyango ka government because he knew this is our government. And each time we would receive support. I remember when we went to Kabazela ubabu zweli mkize saka economic development. Sifunugwaki Keiza Ten Music House. It was still a concept. And we presented it to him. This is the state of the art studios that Ungema wants to build a Keiza Ten. It's standing. It was built by Ungema Keiza Ten Music House. It's standing here in Keiza Ten. Because Ukabazela supported us. No mamwezi we too say, I saw her here. Yeah, I saw mamwezi we too say, no, not Dr. Stella Kumalo, we saw Esho Tila, we province. We received support from our government. Of course, Debele was still there. So, Ngifuno Guti, the industry, EA Dinga, he supports the government, Minister Angi Kambushi, Ngang Shai. The industry, EA Dinga, he supports the government. Siakbonga, Namanje, from Ungema, Kwenzege lingozi. E Eastern Cape wangu government wakona. Mayor province. Is supported si itoli. Le si ula ndu mzimba. Eastern Cape. We've satola is supported mangalisa yu government. And from that day, government has been with us until today. Yon kenente in Zagalayo u government. I'm not making a speech, Minister. I'm calling you to come forward. We really call you to stella i playhouse. Shinchi kama. 
Eyakoke means the playhouse. See you all. As long as we put what they oh, put manta, num for it to Oshomoka. Ukbabeksi and Gaminje, Menangamuzis or Wako to Abengzo Tinja Statele. All the theater productions is come for it to Gamma. Ibe is on his Lala, your Simkulu and Bagosia and Jama speeches, so I could make his card. Go to again. Ushelo lunzwe ngumde ni bagiti. Suzo tinjama bili ama tatu. Siti tutu kumde ni ahambe umfetu. Abapati Ushelo, the Honorable Premier Umama Unomusa, the former ministers Ubaba Utamsa Ngache Frika Tebe, Ushale Indima Engulu in the life Yele Kawe. The other ministers present, Umama Unkosazana, who played a very important role in the life of Eli Kawe as a minister of health then. Ubaba, who minister of police, Upe Kokwake Hamilton Kele, Okona Naipati Kwetu. The MEC is present, the clergy, the church leadership, the creative sector present here, led by a number of its leadership. The torch bearers of the theater production of the creative sector in the country that are present here. I think Ubaba Utwala Uchiko, my brother and friend, spoke well about their role. On behalf of the Department of Arts and Culture, let me take the opportunity to extend my heartfelt condolences to the Ngema family. In New Madlokovu, we are not only bearing an artist, but we are bearing a veteran of the liberation struggle. And we are acknowledging your role in arts. I would like first and foremost to appreciate the role and the contribution played by Playhouse and the Ngema family for the organization of the very vibrant musical celebration this past Wednesday and the quality of production. It was truly befitting of a Kawe, the freedom fighter and anti-apartheid activist. It was him, Mbongeni Ngema, who took South African theater to the global stage to amplify the conditions of the black majority, the conditions of brutality, and the conditions of injustice. The question we ask today, what is the role of theater in South Africa today in nation building and social cohesion? Therefore, the question we must ask, which is one thing I would like to say today, what needs to be done in celebrating his legacy? What needs to be done? There is a need to establish a system or a program of recognition and acknowledgement as part of our vision. I will once again repeat what I always say. We need to give them flowers whilst they can still smell them. If we do so, will have less of posthumous recognition. We must name rivers, we must name streets, we must build academies, we must name oceans and mountains and buildings after their names in recognition of their contribution once they can see and walk past those, those monuments. When I last met him, when we were honoring Madala at this historic playhouse, I reminded him that indeed we shall come back because it is our view as the department that we must give them flowers whilst they can still smell them. But it is not our decision to take him. It is a cost decision. 
Recently, I had the privilege and the opportunity to visit both Paris and Russia, where I discovered that they've been able to increase their budget for arts and culture. Because of its contribution, not only to their GDP, but as a result of, their contrib of this contribution to nation building and social cohesion. And I would like all spheres of government, both provinces led by the Premier and the Mayor who was here, to hear this part, this part loud and clear. Usually, I had an opportunity to meet with the Minister of uh, Arts and Culture in Paris to ask why arts and culture is so important, not only in the GDP, GDP of France, he says to me, is the biggest contributor to our GDP. The problem we have currently, which we are quantifying, as a South Africa, we have not been able to quantify the economic contribution of the creative sector to the GDP. And as such, and as such, our budgeting is much less because we have less appreciation of its contribution. The South African Cultural Observatory finds that South Africa's creative economy contributes significantly to South Africa's GDP in job creation and transformation agenda. Yet, there's always room to do more. South Africa's creative economy contributes over 90 billion rand to South Africa's GDP. In terms of transformation, the South African Cultural Observatory found that around 87% of creative and cultural industry occupations were held by black South Africans, with women occupying around 43% in jobs in the sector. South Africa's share of the contribution of arts and culture to the GDP is comparable to that of countries in BRICS. And countries such as United States and UK. Arts and culture in these countries contributes between 3 to 5% of the GDP. Yet somehow, it seems these countries are able to leverage more on arts and culture and have it play an important role in the economy development of those countries. For an example, arts and culture in the United States contribute about one trillion US dollars to the country's GDP, which supporting 4.9 million jobs. Arts and culture can create jobs, opportunities for investment, and drive collaboration with other sectors such as tourism as well as small development. I'm therefore calling upon the industry principals to engage the department to discuss the role of government should play in an establish a fund that will ensure sustainability of the creative sector. If such a fund, for example, was in place during the COVID-19 pandemic, the industry would have been cushioned against the harsh COVID-19 conditions. In my conversations with Dr. John Carney, Cicely Tambulu, and Tata Kaifasmenya, they tell me when they, they perform overseas, they are vetted by the Union and Home Affairs, and they pay levels that go to the Union for funding of the industry. As a country and as an industry, we need to think about a future that will be enable us to create a strong gatekeeping policy to manage access by international artists that visit our shores to work. If this could be achieved and work, we would have celebrated and kept alive Dr. Ngema's legacy. I've heard the proposals by Chiko Twala and others in the days following his passing, we've been discussing with Playhouse as a department, what best do you honor this global icon? A mere answer is that there cannot be enough recognition to honor people who have made such immense contribution. But one recognition is important. Some of the proposals is to rename Playhouse is to rename the Opera Theatre 
where most of his production were done, is to have a statue of him outside of Playhouse. These are a number of options. <laughs> to you, Matlokovu, you inspired many young people who were here in the country. You gave them hope during the dark days that freedom is coming tomorrow. You were a prophet because tomorrow did not mean the following day. But however, freedom did come. At a time of difficulties in our country, the times of despondency, you gave hope to families, to many of us, certainly when I was young, that we should love each other. Hence the song, Stimula Samsa Sezola, Tambulam Lekendaki, Hamagatli Madlokov, Hamagatli Mfwetu, we will see how best do we use your legacy to educate the rest of younger generation. One of the major contributions we must make to honor people like him, people like Peter Makubani, is to overhaul our history, Mamanko Sazan. Our history, if it does not include the role of art, the role of artist, the role of creative sector in the liberation struggle is incomplete. Because some of them, through their cameras, through their voices, through the theater, through the performing arts, they exposed the brutality of apartheid. It is that history that must be taught in our schools. Thank you very much. On, on a, a lighter note, Siabonga Minister, Siabonga Kulu, on a lighter note, Nelingi Langa, Siso, Siso Lundi, Mutanaka Pindangene, Ubonunga, Mukamu, Yamukamu, Wang Lima, Sawen. And we to, to try and understand Unga Mumlima Zip, Mutanaka Pindangene. What is you know, Americans used to listen to me, but in the late 80s, I, I, I would go there, they would listen to me, and they would ask, what about Asina Mali? <laughs> <laughs> so these plays were really playing a big role, um, not only like Kaya, but also internationally. Unge Musa Benzile, Lady Smith, Black Mambazo, Kakulu, and Bazo Ngenela Stage Manje, Black Moses. Many people know Uguti Alpam Kangema Ukala et Stimulus Asezola, Wayans and the Soul Brothers. Bazongena and Ababazo performer, La Stage, No Ringo Makingozi. Let us enjoy. Thank you.
Let it all go. 
Sia bonga, ma commissetta, ma che sia bonga. Sia bonga, sia bonga, sia bonga. Sia bonga, raccoglie. Sia bonga, raccoglie. A che cosa è nave? Un giallo. A che cosa è nave? Ma che cosa è? Un giallo. Sia bonga, ma commissetta, si sta male. Se a bonga a culo, ma come c'è da tista marche? Giuso bene requeste in manager, ma a tisti a mi a marche. Se a fu mugutti nise la panga pambili, e e tu se qua qua che uma giovu. Cotta se a te la ubutti si coni, pengo ba mangio ma son de la la, si vede stutto l'umde, ni si che che le buona, se a te la di. Aghe kun ngaba ile, aghe kun vimba yo. Namika nje si zopele zela, uma chikile zingeni, uma tange chichi. Uma kyogo vwase ngwe, nitu siye nkomo. We want to acknowledge the presence of Paga Paga, ngimiza Paga Paga min. Makumalo leleti, we acknowledge your presence iswami. Paga Paga. Makuma. Sia Bong. We also... Sia Bong. We also want to acknowledge uh, the presence of Somizim Kongo. Um, We want to acknowledge the presence of Black Moses, you have been Shiluguti, Yalpami Ukala Gange, Mawayenza, Nesol Brothers, Stimulesa Sezola. Unfortunately, because Umshinuake Awuko, Niamazu Black Moses, Ujalogu Nyengala, Ujalogu Nyengala, Ujalogu Nyengala, Manyongoba Awuko, the stage, 
ukuthi esimqoliselwe befisa kakhulu kuzophelezela umngani wakhe ukuthi one more time eh ayibambe insimbi zesitimela eh sasezolwa sifisa also ukubonga kakhulu nakubantu abaloke bebhala siyakubona ke lokubhala ku social media loko kunye asinandaba nako kodwa sifuna ukubonga laba babhala okuhle ngoba kuningi siyawabona ama articles abalowa for instance u Dr Vus Shongwe eh ahlonipha ka kakhulu majokovu eh siyabonga ababhalayo siyazifunda izinto enibhalayo eh kuyasijabulisa kakhulu loko ngilinde uringo njalo njoba ningibona eh ngoba sifuna ukuqhubeka nohlelo sesilinde nje uringo angifuna za azathi ngoba angishoko nje athi ngobani eh Sikela bathi bacela uringa zogodolela ngase stage. Ringo mahingozi, are you here? Okay. I get this opportunity is going once. It's going twice. It's going two and a half. <laughs> Ring on my fingers. Okay, okay. No, if I get good ringo, cause me zile kaleni. Sabuya says, Oh, Chalu, would you send me to the West Stage to tell Bizwa? Says, I am Biza, man, Jagasa, come on foot. Okay, in the meantime, Kitela Sishele Urasta is Angus Pegela Payanangum Sebenzuake, a Urasta Angiko Shong, Alessoka, Lagotag, Urasta, Urasta, Siamaz. Urasta, urasta, se amaz sonke. Mkwela se mshayi li zanki urasta. Thank you very much. Ake kurilo. On that note, bagwe tu, ngi akte lage, Uwuti kebe se sibamba isi zota Se singena ke Engle ngeni Eba nilege kakulu ya lulu kelo Jengo bagu ukelo Olue nzoa uhulumeni Lulu kelo silpatelwe Undu na mkulu wetu Wawa zulu natal Se ngi mkela eze nga pambili Azo stulela Nkulu moyo sugu Se kwela bonga bandupa sugu Meba mengei nyao Usa zo chaifa kangane. Siyabo, siyabo. Siyabo nga kakulu. Goba pati wa shelo. U... MEC Lomuga, Opinde Aspatele, Ogwes Kashana Lomnyango, Wekwi Province Waga Art, Sports and Culture, Sibingelele no Patuo Shelo, U Budmandla. Si Fisa Umbingelele nge nkuli nshonipo kuma ministers akona, o minister in the presidency, o minister nko Sezane Tlamenizuma, O Minister of Police, Minister Ndosi, Minister of Sports, Arts and Culture, Minister Zizi Godwa, Deputy Minister of Health, Dr. Jomo. We also acknowledge members of the Executive Council of KwaZulu Natal, uh, MEC of Health, MEC uh, Nomago Kusmelane. Opinde Abangu, Deputy Chairperson of the African National Congress, 
the MEC of Education, MEC Fraser, MEC of uh, Agriculture, MEC Zuma, MEC Human Settlement and Public Works, MEC Ngozi, and MEC for Sports, Arts and Culture in Gauteng, Ms. Motsupe. Um, former ministers that are present, um, uh, former minister uh, uh, Jeff Khadebe, uh, no mama or Mrs. Khadebe, Opinde Abe, or Excellency, uh, former Premier of KwaZulu Natal, uh, Dr. Mkize, a former Premier of KwaZulu Natal, who's also an ambassador, Mr. Ndebele, um, Siafisa Ogbingelela, all ambassadors and high commissioners and leaders of missions that are present. Etekwini Mayor, Councillor Kaunda, members of the Executive Council of the National Assembly, members of the provincial legislature, all mayors that are present and councillors, director generals that are present, led by the director general, Dr. Mkize, deputy provincial commissioner, heads of departments, umde ningoketegile, umde nwagakumete, Numdeni wagange ma sia bingele langen kulin tronipo poisi shobo zonke ezko na zawange ma ne zawakumete na bangani. The international guests um, that are present, the leaders of political parties uh, that are that are present, business leaders, um, creative arts um, industry present. Sizwile ogutibako na obabo ashelim shope abo hostiks mabuse. Abo Leledi, Abo Mam Yuvon, Abo Putim Zwakembuli, Bo Chiko Twala, Lady Smith Black Mambazo, Baningi Gakulu, Angega Squazo, Babala Bonke, Goda Sea Fisuk Bing Elela Bona Bonke, Aba Holy Bagali Zwi, Nawo Bonke Nje Umpagato Kona, including members of the media. Nizon Kole Lagengoba. I was taught in the diplomatic school, Lapingang Apondo Kona Umama, Unkosa Zane Jamen is Dome as an ambassador, Ogut Aikintek to protocol observed. We observe every protocol. Um, Aikonji, Asias Gutia Velap, Nyafisu being a lela, Gendamba, Maya Nam Shlange. See, Shangene Lapa Nam Shlange with our hearts that are heavy with the burden of grief and the sorrow as we bid farewell to the son of the soil, one of our global icons in the performing arts industry, a towering maestro who carried our flag aloft on the world stage. For as long as humanity has existed, one of the mysteries that philosophers, scientists, and poets Sage and prophets have been grappling with, including Bonka Befundisi, is the enigma of the cycle of life and death. As such, as we walk this earth, one of the morbid statements that haunt us every day of our lives is when is our appointment with our Maker. And this is why we are here. Because Umadlogovu, Bate Omkulu Maba Memeza, Wastabel, Ute Umangabe Unkulunkulu, Mbiza, Washa Wati Eake Ingwati, Sake Dewe. It is because of this reason that when a person of Dr. Ngema dies, superlatives such as the giant, a trailblazer, a luminary, a towering icon, a game changer, a larger than life personality. Everybody is thrown around to describe him. However, it is fitting that the passing away of Dr. Mbongeni Ngema, we have lost a towering giant. For greatness was his middle name. We have seen and we've heard everybody who came here speaking of discipline, speaking of greatness, speaking of excellence. 
Dr. Ngema was not born with a silver spoon in his mouth. His journey is a typical rags to riches tale, yet he departs this world completely immortalized. No number of adjectives can adequately describe Dr. Ngema's genius. Program directors, the past week have been like a horrible nightmare from which all of us had hoped we would be woken up and somebody would say no agloni iniso. None amongst us wanted to believe the various media platform, even the calls that we received when they repeatedly informed us of the sad news of Madlogovu's untimely death in a car accident. And indeed, our lives have been shattered. The outpouring messages of condolences and support from all over the world confirmed that Madlogovu, as he was affectionately known, did not only belong to his family and South Africans, but he belonged to all humanity and the globe. This is a reaffirmation of ancient wisdom as captured in the Chinua Cheves at Hills of Savannah, that a cock that crows in the morning belongs to one household, but its voice is the property of all of the neighbors or of all the neighborhood. So family. So was the life of Matlogovu. That he died after delivering a moving uh, eulogy at the funeral of his close friend and business associate, with whom he had worked with for 30 years, testified the cruel nature of this fate. As if he had a premonition that death was stalking him along the way on his way back to Durban. And his eulogy, Majlogovu spoke of how Mamshila's death has taken a part of him or a part of her. And that is what Majlogovu said, umangabe ebega amazwi eduduza umdin. A few hours later, after he had uttered those present words, he perished in the horrible accident, leaving our universe spirit of a star that shone the brightest. Today we gather here. We have the diversity of a global impresario and Ethiopian who stood shoulders above others as a composer, a musician, a playwright, a theater producer, a choreographer, a literalist, a role into one, as we have heard many describing him. That he could wear all these hurts with effortless ease and, as we heard, Abanye Bekulumala, affirming Madlogovu's genius and the architecture, his longtime musical director and band leader, Obabu Edi Matibe, speaking at his memorial service at the Playhouse on Wednesday, acclaimed, and he said, such geniuses like Madlogovu come once in a particular lifetime. And Ilokosikbonayo Namtlanje, just like Rachel's, the greatest musical genius of all, Madlogovu never worked in just one style, but he blended and beautified all that he had touched in his life. He was at home in Kloati. He was at home in New York, in the Stockholm, in Cote d'Ivoire, and in California. His virtuosity was felt by the likes and the record producer, the songwriters, and the arranger, Quincy Jones, who became his friend and actor, comedian and author, Whoopi Goldberg as well, to name the two. He was one with the rural communities. He was there effortlessly. 
ahlale phansi kwesihlahla akwazi ukukhuluma ulimi labantu uma ngabe kufanela kukhulume with the other classes he was at home and he was able to converse such as the level of refinement and the charisma and sophistication that we've learned and we've seen in Majlogovo. But equally, he was at home with Manazareta Baptist Church and within the Zionist churches. And as Yabonga, Umfundis Wetu, Wase Nazareta, Ogote Akumbuze, Indu Yagiti, O Baba Betu, Ogote. Kufanele si lege ngempela le kilo lo gutikse kona bantu besfazane abashugu mezwayo. Umadlogovu was also a man about town and could charm a fish out of water as captured in his timeless classic Stimela Sathezola. Such was his level of adaptability. But to understand Madlogovu's repertoire, as a musician, a theater producer, and a composer, one has to delve deep into the history. That he was born in Verulam in 1955, at the height of apartheid repression, when inhumane legislation such as Group Areas Act had been passed. Five years before he was born, shows how since his birth, his life was interwoven with the tapestry of the struggle and the suffrage of the African people. And I agree with uh, my, my comrade and, and my leader, Usis Nomakuku, Ugozi, you can never talk about Impilo Yagamajogovu without talking about Intlanga Noyake, Abeitanda, but also the liberation struggle of this country, a time of great upheaval in our liberation history. This was when the communities suffered untold humiliation, when they were forcefully remain, removed from their land of birth, just because they were Africans. So we need not to understand the, the writings about our history, but we must understand it, how Umar Logovo had to leave um, the life of a black person in this country of the time. So was that able to be transported to the arts and the work that he was able to command. Needless to say that Dr. Mbongeni Ngema's family was removed from Verulam because um, they were classified as blacks and that township was then classified as an Indian community only, setting off a chain of events in the life which would find expression in artistic production of Ubaba Umbongeni Ngema. As a result of this grand plan of separate development, more than six decades later, long after the architects of apartheid have died, we are still grappling with the impact made by this on our society. And I do wish to also emphasize the point that was emphasized by my comrades here that it is such ironic that sometimes in this country, some people want us to forget about the past. Some people don't want us to remember where we come from, because if we do not remember where we come from, we would not know where are we supposed to be going to. So Majagov's life was inspired by stories of heroism that were told in the rolling hills, Zasentroati, where his forefathers came from. This is also a powerful reminder of what shaped the political consciousness and the outlook of Umar Logovu. Dr. Ngema was also inspired by the heroic exploits of one of his more illustrious forebears who fought bravely in the epic of Isandlwana battle. His great-grandfather, Ustwele Tuelengema, of the indomitable Ingoba Makosi reg regiment of King Echoayo, was among those who, in the face of death, shouted, Isandlwana, we are dela we no sulapo. And nebengijela u emisi wamla, ushomuka, ugutimchampe guzobaleka, 
Uguti, in the memory of Umat Logovu, we relive as we go to Esandwa Nangom Shaga 27. Sikwazi Uguti, si celebrate Umat Logovu there, but also Sikumbuze, Noguti, Ubaba Wakum Kuluake, Umkulu Wake, Ustwele Kwelengema, Nabanye, Bafela Kona Lapayana, Ebuti Buto La Sengova Makosi. Elaga King Ayo. These warriors did not cower the shadow of death, but they relished the opportunity to fight, to defend um, our land. And we heard uh, Obab Chiko Twala here talking about how fearless Obabumbongi Ngema was. And as if he always preached that no retreat, no surrender. That was too mild a word for Ubaba Ongema. When we look at the work that was been done, but also looking at the warriors, the legends, the like of which the world has never seen before, thus we see in the bravery of Matlogovo that is among the very few who have come closest to emulate uh, the feet of Ingoba Makosi. He took over the baton from the paid finders of the struggle of liberation, but he used the arts as a weapon of choice in, in his arsenal in communicating and relaying the message and the pain and the suffering of our black people and the communities. He demonstrates this and how complex and interplay our history is and the people's lives and the experiences that our people have had to feel. But what made Madlogovu a veritable gem is that he was a self-taught and he was a product and the hallowed halls of not formal education um, of our hallowed walls. But he was self-educating himself and sharpening his tools at all time. As history tells us, that Dr. Ngema spent three months in a garage at a house in the doyen of the African theater, Obabu Gibson Kenta. If he had given up at that time, maybe he would not have scaled the heights of the global excellence and the arts and the industry. And Umangabe Ngembela agazanga shale e garage e lagababu Gibson Kenta. Agwazi oguti ashapnishe Ama tools wake, no msebenz wake, mshaumbe, ngabe agaga zwanga, ugutu msebenz wake, uzu kupuge ubonaga ganje. Having been a cast into the Kentus play, Imama and the Lord, he did not look back at the time. Over years, he would be involved in many plays that he would wrote and co-wrote, such as Asna Mali, Bowoza Albert, Bosarafina, Magic at 4 a.m. and many others. The common thread of all these plays and the production is that he told stories of people gallantly resisting the unjust system and struggling to gain freedom in what became known as the protest theater. Of all his plays, Abu Sarafina would become a jewel in the glittering crown of his repertoire after he wowed audiences all over the world. And he created a powerful platform of telling our South African story of resilience against apartheid on the global stage. The tour de force would go to enjoy several of uninterrupted runs on the Broadway in the United States of America as the achievement that was unprecedented um, at that time. As a result of his outstanding contribution, we saw Mat Logovu at, uh, at, the, at the Globe with his body of arts. He won numerous awards and nominations, including the Tony Awards for Asina Mali and Sarafina, and was inducted in the New York Wall of Fame. Granny Amo Award nomination, and in 2016, on the 9th of May, that was declared and Ubabu Duman Ndlovu and Umbongeni Ngema there at the Harlem 
and we've heard even uh, during the memorial service how the 9th of May is celebrated in Harlem as the day of Ubabu Ungema. And alongside uh, the name of Ubaba Ungema, Siabona Nala, a South Africa Nala Eteguini, Ika Malagababa Ungema, Lipa Liwe La Paya Emyang, was a city hall, Konala Eteguini, alongside Ika Malaba Holy Abafana Nabo Nelson Mandela, Abo Oliver Tambo, Abo Miriam Makeba, Nabanya Baning. There are many other honors for Madlogovu, including his transformation from an abuser of women to speaking against gender-based violence, which was recognized in many other platforms, including the Gauteng uh, Social Development um, that also drew their 365 Men's Award, recognized the work that was being done by Umar Logovu on the gender-based violence. I do want to say um, to all of us here, uh, fellow mourners, that artists are the embodiment and the aspirations of our people. Then Dr. Ngema was a prophet because he reaffirmed our collective hope through music that freedom was indeed coming tomorrow. Matlobovu was also a workaholic and had exceptional work ethic. Those who worked with him would tell you that he was a hard to please a disciplinarian who led by example, by being efficient and expecting nothing less from those in the slog with him. It was not uncommon to find him bereaving away until the wee hours of the morning, marking the magic in the process. As we honor the memory of our icon, Ubaba Ungema, we remember his humanity, his generosity, the spirit of his willingness to assist others without expecting anything back. We've seen and we've heard many other artists that he was uplifting. But more than anything, while his passing has left us broken, we need to thank the Almighty for his life. We need to celebrate for what Mbongeni was to us as humanity. We pay homage in his life well lived. We need to ensure that we pick up the spear and continue where he left off. And I also want to add my voice to the renaming minister of the Playhouse to Umbongeni Gemma. As government, we wish to commit ourselves that we will work tirelessly to ensure that we preserve his memory and let us work in concert to ensure that we fulfill what he has in one of the interviews here. My work will outlive me when he said that. He said, 100 years from now, people will still be performing, uh, will still be performing Usarafina. So program director, at this juncture, let me also emphatically underscore the fact that as the province of KwaZulu-Natal, we had taken a view a long time, as Ubudwa Munozulu was saying here, to partner with the creative sector, artists, musicians, and actors. The partnership that assisted government to communicate and mobilize public awareness on various programs like the road safety, um, HIV and AIDS health programs, and many others. We've heard how Minister Nkosaza Nadlamene Zuma was a subject of heavy criticism when she recognized the influential role and very artistics by honoring um, that uh, today. We also must understand and, and, and remember that as province of KwaZulu-Natal, we were also able with U Ambassador Ndebele, together with the late Ukaba, Ubabu Kaba Mkize, the general manager of the then SABC in KwaZulu-Natal, they put together what was called Iskak Ambiji, featuring Ubabu Ashelim Shope, Abopuze Kemesi, Abomfa Zomnyama, to drive the message on the road safety. He also worked with the likes of Abo Mamura Bakamalope, 
and many others in those programs that were commissioned by the province of KwaZulu-Natal. But subsequently to that, the former Premier also, Ubaba Udogotela Uzuelim Kize, and Abo MEC Omabuya Kulu, and many others worked with Umat Logovi in creating a KwaZulu-Natal music house, which was created to stop the force of exodus of our KZN artists to Gauteng. And in particular, because of the lack of opportunities and the facilities in our province. And I remember how U -U Dr. Ngema conceptualized the music house and the province of KwaZulu-Natal um, agreed and, and funded the program that was visioned uh, by Ubabu Ngema of incubating musicians, uh, making sure that the records um, and the documentation of um, the work of our musician was alive um, in the KZN Music House, as opposed to our uh, artists going to Gauteng. As government, we also want to indicate that we are not oblivious to the plight of our artists, our musicians, our actors producers, and many other creative practitioners. productions by filling um, those holes so that ama artist can continue to inspire even many generations to come. We know um, uh, today that we are honoring Omar Logovu, who committed himself, but also committing ourselves to ensuring that we will work even closer with artists in our province. Because Omar Logovu's cry was for the betterment of the artists that have not fallen in the deaf ears in us in this leadership. We are want to, to say that we are going to be ensuring that indeed the support that is needed to ensure that the plight of our artists is not the one that we celebrate only when they are no more. I also wish to quote uh, from the poem from one of the foremost African scholars um, o Benedict uh, Wallet uh, Uvilagazi, in the title Mshla Gifikwa Ugufa. Kodwa genge nga yeskati ngege ngit ule, nga ngit ule skole nge katza. Iti mshla ngifikwa ngugufa, ngimbele ni pansi kochani, duze nesilasa somyezane, lapo amakaja eyo ngembeza, Ngamakabunga akwele ushaza, ngozwa nami lapongilele, panzi uchani bunga pezulu bucheba. Ebese iti lala standwa, lala upumule. Amazwi eswa shoyo na mshanje. Amazwi lawa eswa shoyo na mshanje kwe standa setu umadlogovu. Ntusienkomo, uguti lala standwa, lala upumule, uwako umsebenzi, ufezile. Uguetu, uguti sitati, umkonto uwile, njengwa batlale sisho, ngezi zulu setu, siti ihau liwile. Uguetu, uguti sitati, lo konto na lelo hau, kubegele pambile emsebenzini, umadlogovu, au shie, unga pelanga, ngoba, iningizim Afrika, Aika kakululeki, umanga bekse kona abantu, abange nazo izindu, kuse kona abantu, abange yona ingwenye yomnoto, wezwe letu. Inga ako kubalekile, uguti sikubeke, nyomsebenzi. Singa akoswa, uguti baningi, abafuna uguibu isela emuva, lengola yenkululeko. Baningi, abasafuna uguti gube nezbeje la zabobotwa, Kube nez kole za bobotwa. Baningi abanga kufuni loku bumbana. Ubabu chikoto ala bega kulumanga abo. Uguti njenga bantu abantundu balapeningizim Afrika. 
kubaleke kujula kwenza ukuthi sibumbane sithandane uma ngabe sizokwenza iningizimu Afrika enenqubeke laphambili futhi ethuthukayo namhlanje sithi lala sithandwa lala uphumule siyabonga amahlukufu So we can get a visa, a chaplain, uh, while we uh, maybe wait with the song Sihlala Panzi. Can we invite the chaplain to come and render a short um, a service uh, before we can then conclude with other formalities of uh, today's work? It is well, it is well with my soul, with my it is well, it is well it is Thank you so much, Honorable Premier, for this opportunity that you have just afforded to me. Allow me to read from the book of Revelations, chapter 21, and I will read from verse 1. Izulengo si, tola lengwa dinye sambulo, isakiloge sika 21, and I will read from verse 1. It reads as follows. A new heaven and a new earth. Verse 1. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth has passed away and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now amongst the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them, and they are God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the, order of, for the old order of things has passed away. He who seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. To those who are victorious will inherit all this and I will be their God and they will be my children. Amen. Allow me kafishane stick and only on verse 6 it is done I am the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end to the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life sequence the gingu Alpha no Omega is Carlo Nespeto Omleyo, Yagum Puzisa, Gesi, M. Tonjeni, Omanzi, O P. Lubis Cat Bessicona Benzotti Unculunculuena, O Scarlo, says in to Zonke, Zonke Zinto, Zivele Kiena, Conquest Bonayo, Uvele Diena, Gotuake, Fisan and Amkanje, Sifocase, Lugoki Nuguti. He is also the Omega, who is Peto, says in to Zonke. Zakala gena, futi zope ta gena. Impilo ze zonke, zongo basila, zikale gena. Zope ta gena, katale no manga buban. Koto ektine nyo pete sa jinsika mkulungkulu. Inga kompale gile, ukutunga ezi mistake. Yog hambi bangelite, mkulungkule butena awe. Mbize, esese duzane. Ukuze utu bang figi skati, sok peta mpilo yako. Ipete gase, use zanje nizga jesu. Utigalum paling is call on a speto. Go on mile, Jagum Pusisa. How my condo milela, Nanka man's a sisle, 
Opuza kila manzi Aga soze oma Gamkumbulu chesu Geila ngeitangana Na wespazane Esa maria Atigiena Ugubabe was Beuzo Kela gimi Gipuzi sa manzi Onge kupinde ome wona Gobinkinga yako Unogoma wena Uyapuza Kota kpelu goma Kona banta mapuza Kota kpelu goma Gwaba tingu nkulu nkule mpule nzao Usuna sozo onge zinyizi nto Kota ushota nkulu nkule mpule nyako Umunga tata ena, abo alfa beno omeke pilo niyako, indio zako zingalunga, sengpeta, ekineni, ukono omeka. No munga mbalegela, but at the end, you shall face him. Ngoba uyene kaleni, futu yene kineni. I am the alpha and the omeka. Nkunungulani mbusisi mdila kama shikofu, asbu sesonke eka milika cheswe imeni. Mastandas. Baba we toy mwele. Nongi iso nko setu kristu chesu. Siak bonga baba. Emini nje. Elu kumemeze lugu ti. Impela usewu nkulu nkulu etu. No magunje. No misimo sinje. Asiku jiki kota wena. Ugutu nguche ho vika malako. Windo tema nati MP nzonke. Siak bonga baba. Nale nkonzo. Kababa matlogovu. Siak bonga baba mpilo yake. Siak bonga nguchi. Umaspuma la. We are skumbus guti. We are all aware and respect. You are the alpha and the omega of our lives. Si zegangosi umasokubega spila. Si kumbulu guti. Kota wena we are all futu istrino. Si nga shlaga nipi. Si zestaba mti shlaga npenga pezu wako. Ngobe kine ngo kina wena. Umasak pelego nko gunye. We no respect. Utatutu moge nko suspusise. Ututu zumde no gamati lugovu. Ututu siswe sonke. Eka menlega chesu kristu. Yena yetu nko si. Opila manje guzibe pakate na pakate. Amen. Thank you so much. May I then invite the marshalling officer, uh, Captain Tombella, to come uh, live podium. Maybe while we are still waiting for uh, the officer, to all of you to respect Ubaba Umajlogovu. Uguti send off your care, eBay is a financial is under the norm. Msebin Zenwenzi, Uguti Sewas, manager is Kati, sends a young king to Mukulga Kulu. May God bless you and bless you and bless you more. I then want to hand over to my uh, co chair to uh, uh, extra my announcement, will then uh, officer will take over. Angbonge na kulu, gitelewe umde ni dunia kulu, uguti ngi bonge wanza kiingu hulmeni, gishuguti si ya bonga si ya ngonoza, yebo si ya bonga ubuho libuga hulmeni, kote futi si bonga na kulu ama officials at different levels, egati S12 all the way, si ya zuguti masiku ganje kusuge. Se si perene na ba hole la kulu kandi na ma officials egui wana kati kichima kikali wamde ni uwatingi bonge the following people egui bonye bebe ikomiti ebeli kela lomsebenzi obunge lula nze na manje si apefu muda nje si figela benge vugunzi ma gi biyenga kikali wagi wamde ni uwatingi cherele the organizing committee, the Atelu Guti, Nami Mbonge Rakulu, Bona, the Atelu Guti, Umden Wanil Segil Guti, Benjo Msebenzo Muhi, Umam Kuku Ngobo, Ufusi Mvelase, Henry Paul, Ubaba Edmund Hatebe, Sia Bonga Rakulu, Mtom Tala, Uafrika Ngema, Mtom Benk Ngema, Unkanka Ngema, Mesi Stiet Ngema, Sabelo Ngema, Tande Rama Zulu Ngema, Indotagaz Rama Kukovu Mangema Ngema, Ngevugazo mapule, nomen kobolo, tomusan ngema, manka ngema. Neka itens enkulu, ebe sloge si cholile, all the way, kuma kumete si abonga, ube umuholi ma kumete, yonke lengela, without your kaitens, ngabe agunjena, ngabe asfiganga la si ikona. We hope you are satisfied, ngomusebenzi owe nziwe. Uzo sugwa lapa, Kuiwe ematuneni ase Red Hill. Abafisayo e uguya bavumelegi ile upeleze lumdeni. 
kuyofikwa ematshweni nase Red Hill em ukum loku kwakuthiwa isigaba 8 ngoku kwa Dog nongembisi eh ukumaya eh kunokumaya okuhleliwe okuzokwenzeka khona lapha ICC laba bangezokuphumelela ukuya nathi emalibeni bayacelwa ukuthi baphuza amanzi la wahleliwe azobe ekhona la ngiyacela ke abaqokiwe bathunga kunomsebenzi obaleke kabi eh undosi uzosivumela ukuthi senzela ama roadblock amancana ngekhe emthethweni sizovala zonke into bazokuphuma hayi ngabasiyivala sifuna nje ukwenza sho ukuthi nonke sinixhawulile maniphuma siniphelezele kahle sidiployile ke abaphetha amabhakede oqoqumnikelo bazokwenza sho ukuthi banixhawula nonke eh maniphuma nani ke bese niyabaxhawula futhi eh ukuze siqinise eh umndeni idolo siyabonga kakhulu mphinde ngibonge na ku program director engibamsene naye siyabonga kakhulu nduna nkulu kusithemba ngalo msebenzi eh siyabonga siyabonga program directors cele kubingelela nduna nkulu wakazulu Natal noma Sadobe cele kubingelela o minister bakhona ndose sicelubingelela bonke o deputy o mcs sicelubingelela zonke icuktwane ngeigaba zazo neihambeli zonke ngeigaba zazo ngicela ngokukhethekile ukubingelela umndeni wakangema eh allow me to say all protocol observed eh ngu captain tombela ngizo nazisu ukuthi procession yethu izofoma kanjani futhi izohamba kanjani ngaphandle kwalokho be ngithi nje ngicela ukubeka izicelo ezimbalwa ezokuqala ngicela ukuthi masisuka la nomndeni nomzimba sithi gozolo lo kancane bese sivimela ukuthi umndeni no generali no nduna nkulu namsana nabo bethi nje ukuthi cuka lapha kancane phambili bothi mase behambileke bese siyajoin emva kwabo kuze sibane ngi space namaphoyisa sokumhasha bese ukuthi phandle ngicela nje ukuthi sivulele space imoto zamaphoyisa zikwazi ukuhamba phambili hlampe nenza secebele uthi ngemuva to allow space again kuze sikwazi ukuhamba bese ukuthi emathuneni indawo ingumncini angiboni sonke ukuthi masingapaki imoto emgwaqeni singene sonke songena fast ngiyacela futhi ukuthi sidedela amaphoyisa nabamba phambili nomzimba ukuze sikwazi ukushesha esifike ukuze bese siyajoina ngemuva sonke bese siyalandelana umndeni ungasali masiqhube kuzolandela ngendlela ezingene ngayo eh ndona nkulu wakithi kazulu natal sizohamba kanje i process yethu will be form up as follows is going to be the leading detachment behind the leading detachment is going is going to be the police brass band behind the police brass band is going to be the chaplain behind the chaplain is going to be the hess on the side of the hess is going to be the pol bearers behind the hess is going to be the bearers behind the bearers is going to be all the officers in order of their seniority behind the officers is going to be all the police mourners and behind the police mourners is going to be the family with their cars and behind the family is going to be all the civil mourners umphakathi wakithi ke sicela ubusu ungena ngemuva ke sizomasha ukusuka la esingene khona eminyango siyongena lomgwaqo omncane ngale siyojoina u Dr A B Kuma Street sehle shone zansi masifika ekhoni ne robotini sithathu left singene ku Stalwart Street 
sehle straight la sizo ivala khona sizo ivala hlambe singakafike ma robotini bese seyivala sizo bese siqhubeka ke simathuneni ke imoto u inhlabani hidi yethu ya imoto ihambe kanjalo in the end the following police honors will be observed Peras, Warrant Officer Matenjwa, Warrant Officer ASM Keys, Warrant Officer WLM Keys, Warrant Officer Mthong. Warrant Officer Twenza. Warrant Officer Togwa. Warrant Officer Shongwane. And Warrant Officer Makai. Those are the parents. Paul Perez. Brigadier Zoom, Brigadier Paramosam, Brigadier Twala, Brigadier Kabin, Brigadier Matheson, Brigadier Kumet. Captain in charge of Para Party is going to be Captain Ching. Thank you, Program Directors.
and that is uh, the procession as it prepares to leave uh, the Durban ICC. This is after the funeral program has concluded, the funeral problem of uh, the late Dr. Mongeni Ngema. Various speakers reflecting on his life, reflecting on his contribution in their lives. You listen to his wife, Makumede, talk about um, just his contribution to their partnership, but at the same time, they were also working together on stage. She's a choreographer and she was talking about even reflecting on him as a family man. At the same time, you listen to some of those who've worked with him on various theater productions and they talk about <clears throat> just the, the challenges that they faced together, but now they are going to have to take, pick up the baton and continue to make sure that some of the challenges that they would have faced as actors in the creative sector in this country are addressed. We spoke earlier on to Arts and Culture Minister Zizugodwa, who was talking about the fact that the challenges in the sector are known and it is time to start addressing them. But someone who would have been part of the late Dr. Mbongeni Ngema's journey is a popular actor, Masojam Siza, who joins us now just to also reflect on this moment and what it means for him. And this is a man that he knows. This is a man that he came to talk about. Um, thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. Let's start and thanks for having about, me. Thank you. Let's talk about this moment. Yes. You're watching, you are part of the funeral program. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind? Uh, there's this thing we call paying the last respect. Uh, in our culture, we say Inkonzo Yoktaina. So today, I was with Oputumbongeni for the last time. Spam Inkonzo Yoktaina before he departs to the cemetery. So what's going through my mind is what we are in this world for. Yeah, we are born loaded with our hands firmly held like this, and when you look at the volume of of his work as a creative and as a performer. And it's like you turn the mirror around and say, if it was me, what is it that is going to be reflected to mm -hmm. the people? And then you tell yourself that it's not about how much you accomplish that matters, but it's, a, it's about how much you give, not how many goals you reach, but how many lives you touch. So we, every, each day we live above the ground is a step towards the grave. So we have to make sure that each day of our lives is fruitful, is productive. Even, even if it's not for me, I must do things for others. Yeah. Yes. Tell us about the Maglogovu you knew. Not the one that South Africa knows or the globe knows, but mm. tell us about the Maglogovu that you knew. The one that I know is the one that I first saw in 1981 at Guatemala Community Hall when he, he was performing alongside Upesim Toa. And uh, I went there as a winner of a competition, got a complimentary ticket to, together with my cast to go and watch Waza Albert at Watema Community Hall. And the inspiration, direct inspiration from him made me to realize that uh, the art has no limit. And so from then, uh, I found that uh, through the volumes of his work, I'm meeting a lot of people and I've met him and uh, through the inspiration and the education, the information he was teaching out to other artists, including myself. And I find myself today working with people who have been trained by him. So to tell you the truth, I was never trained by any of the people that you know. It, to me, it's God given. And, uh, but uh, with him, he was a lot of inspiration because to see him having a stage play and also to see him having a movie and also to watch the Zulu when he was performing solo at the market theater and I was there and then I said wow what a storyteller and that's the inspiration direct inspiration and the conversations we had between the two of us that man I want to learn a lot from you and he told me one word Practice, 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 and always have confidence and believe in yourself. Yeah. As a final question then, 
He's taking his last journey. He's now yeah. heading to his place of rest. Mm. What do you say to him? To him. To him and those that he leaves behind. Is that or to him I can say thank you. And wherever you are going, you'll be received as an angel because you did your thing. He had some plans that he wanted to accomplish. And I would say those plans, God will make sure that somebody continues where you left off. You've done your part. Thank you. When God says cut, nobody can say action. And when God says action, nobody can say cut. So for us, it's still action. We have to move on. And then to him, his cut is the catching call, final, the final one. And say, we say good night and not goodbye. We can only afford to say good night because it's our journey as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Msiza. Right, sure. We appreciate your time. I know you will be going to the cemetery right. as well. That is uh, Masocha Msiza. Thank you so much. He is uh, a well-known actor. And you listen to this journey. There's a lot of people that are sharing these stories, sharing the journey, sharing um, you know, the, the, the part of their lives that they would have spent with the late Dr. Mbongen Ngema. As you can see now, we just heard the announcements as well from the marshalling officer. The SAPS um, will also be handing over the standard national flag to the Premier. The Premier will then hand the standard national flag to the Chief Mourner. And then um, now as we are seeing the cortege, it is departing for Red Hill Cemetery. And uh, the SAPS is leading the procession out of the arena and as it is leaving the procession in fact now a number of people just around us here who are reflecting on this life who are talking about this life one of them is with us here Zamaswazi she's an actor but for her it's not just about television it's not just about this small screen she spent a lot of time on stage with the late Dr. Mbongen Ngema. Let's talk about that. Talk to us about the first time you met him. Well, wow, the first time I met Ubaba, I was just 18 in Kumulagasha. I had just finished my matric in 99. So when I turned 18, I'm like, okay, I already knew in my head what I wanted to do. And then he came to a location in Chesterville. He had an announcement to make, which is looking for young people, uh, aspiring artists, so I heard the audition and a lot of people I grew up imitating Brenda Fassi as a singer. They're like, Swazi, you need to go for this audition. So I went there. I had 50-50 chance. I'm like, 50% I'm going to get it. 50% I might not. Because I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. He didn't just take anyone. Ubaba mm. mm. You must know we say, you are one of the best. So where there's something really special about you. Even though as a figure again, unique So I went in there and auditioned and then that was the beginning of my journey. Yeah. And you are now there. Yes. A number of people say he was very strict and yes. quite the professional yes, and someone who had high standards. Yes, absolutely. He Share was with us very some of strict to Baba. I think in professionalism, yeah, to me personally as a professional, I'm very professional. And in thing I found again was as an artist, you must know your story, you must respect your craft, you must respect Wonkomuntu, you must respect yourself. First and most importantly, you must know who you are and why are you in the industry and let your work speak for itself. And those are the things Baba Skun says on he was absolutely a perfection. What must we have six months? What better thing in younger six among it dance a big attack as okay out. He cuts you out. A great place on Muni Munti. He was like that. Wow. Yeah. Zamaswaz, thank you. I know all of you have to go yes. um, as he takes his final journey, yes. but thank you for sharing some thank of those so moments much. with us. Thank we do appreciate so them. And um, as we continue the reflections um, of the life of the late Dr. Mungen Ngema, as you can see outside, his coffin is now getting ready to go to the Red Hill Cemetery. And that is where the Heroes Acre um, will be, and that is where he is going to be laid to rest. We do know and have spoken to the family about their decision to get to this point. They were talking about, yes, there were some discomforts among others who were saying that for them, 
they wanted him to be buried in Kroati at this um, Red Hill, but the final word became Red Hill Cemetery. And as the procession is going to be leaving, it is going to be arriving at the cemetery soon. But let's just listen to some of what is taking place outside. Natun, take your position in three. As you can see from those live visuals there, the procession is getting ready to head to the Red Hill Cemetery. There is someone that we also stole from these uh, proceedings, just to ask him for a few minutes, just to be with us. You wear so many hats. <laughs> Babu Mkiza, thank you. Thank you so much um, for talking to us. But let's talk about, you know, Dr. Mkiza, for you. You are watching the funeral. You inside a lot of people are still reacting with shock at what has happened the loss of Madlogovo. i wonder for you what has been your reaction you know it's been very difficult to believe that uh, we have lost uh, mbongeni uh, if you look at the pictures it's look, it looks like he's still with us that he will start uh, you know move over and talk to us i think the country has lost and uh, humanity has lost uh, mbongeni was a real uh, inspiration inspired our people during the fight against apartheid. He was a freedom fighter who sent his message courageously, clearly, succinctly, and you joined in the message and you were able to actually understand what the struggle was all about, what the history was of, of our people was all about, and he made it real. And because of that, his ability to get the right message to the right people at the right time across generations is something that was very unique. He's, uh, as a musician, he was also, you know, very unique because he actually, you know, uh, his music straddled across different styles. His background, traditional, was kind of you could pick it up, but it went all the way to quite a number of things, to a point that uh, uh, you can, the, there's music which, which, if it plays, you can tell, that's me of game. It's really created almost its own genre, you know, if you went out to talk to the young people. So we have lost a, 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 you know, a, a creative artist, a, a, a composer, a, you know, a, a teacher, a mentor for a lot of young people. But the inspiration he gave to young people, you know, to go out there and discover their own talent. Uh, you know, if you look at the whole Sarafin, it was school kids, uh, and they grew up to be, you know, top most performers in music, in, in film industry, all over. This is unique, you know. From our point of view, he is a, is a man that would have still been very helpful throughout his career. I worked with him when I was a MEC as well. You know, he was a friendly person. But his vision about where the country should go was something that was you know, out of this world. Helping us to rebuild the tourism industry, telling us where the, the real uh, you know, value lies on the talents of our people from the hinterlands who need an infrastructure to you know, uh, expose their talents and create them to be the you know, successful celebrities. All of this was something that we learned from Borinigan. But of course as a person, 
He was a very humorous person. You listen to his songs, very nice music, but also very humorous lyrics. And when you sit down, you say, but what, what was wrong with Mbongen? What was he thinking of when he came up with this song? So you have really lost a legend, and it's an end of an era. And really, I hope that this, uh, his um, legacy will live on uh, in our minds, in our hearts, but also in the talents of the young people that he helped us to discover. But also in the inspiration for our people to fight for freedom, to continue, even now, you know, if you look at some of his interviews, it was very vocal against the government, the leaders, talking about corruption, the people who have uh, the, the distance between our people. So he remained as, uh, you know, uh, incisive throughout his life, fearlessly. He never feared even to deal with issues of uh, our sensitivities, yeah. inter intra-racial tensions, he would come out and he was not careful of anything. And Dr. Mkiza, before I let you go, there are those as well, when you talk about this legacy, who say that you must also talk about the controversies, you must also talk about the dark part of his legacy as he leaves a mixed legacy, according to some behind. And I wonder what are your thoughts on that? Look, firstly, I think none of us is perfect. So if the people are pointing out that any of his shortfalls, his weaknesses, let's accept all of us have got our own weaknesses. But I think in life, we must always focus on what is it that he came and contributed, which was unique. In my case, I would say he was a lovely person to live with. Whatever his weaknesses might have been, as we all have, but he was such an inspiration and a courageous freedom fighter that I think if we were to look at his life, all his negatives and his weaknesses will really pale into insignificance when compared to the capabilities and the positive contribution and his impact on our lives and our hearts. I think that with all these challenges that you might think of, his contribution was mostly positive. In Isizulu, we say, we beg you Thank you so much, Kabazet. Thank you so much, Dr. Kizem. We thank you for your time. That is uh, former health minister, Dr. Zulim Kizem, who wears quite a lot of hats. Um, and today he talks about the Bongeni Gemma that he knows. And uh, he says that uh, this is a man that he would have met. Uh, you know, a long time ago, when through his work, even as MEC, he says that this is a man that would have uh, made an indelible mark in uh, some of, uh, you know, the lives of those who are in the creative industry. And you listen to someone like Kanyoma Pomulo, for example, she tells you that uh, for her, she was groomed by him, and not only for the stage, but one thing she'll never forget is the fact that he always said to her, you need to go and be bigger than what I have asked you to be, than what I have launched you to be. So there was quite a lot of them who had quite a lot to say about him. But I'd like us to also look at uh, what also is still happening outside as we take just a second of a breather, just as you see um, some of the bikers, they're making their way uh, to the Red Hill Cemetery. And this is where the funeral is going to then be held that's going to be his final resting place and this as uh, you know immediate family members the minister premier are also going to be afforded their designated seats at the cemetery the pallbearers and the bearers will then remove um, the coffin and proceed them to his grave site there will be a prayer at the grave site the undrapping of uh, the coffin by the pole bearers. There will also be the SAPS officers who are going to be taking up then their positions as they prepare for his burial. There will then be a lowering of the remains as well as the last post. And then they will remove the SAPS elements. And once they're done with that, there will be some orders by the marshal officer who will then be determining how everything will unfold and then a handover committal service to the reverend and the benediction. And then the family will then be bidding him farewell because then that's when they would have left him in his final resting place. 
that's when everyone will be dispersing, everyone will be making their way back and possibly leaving a family that has been talking about how distraught they are at his loss. So quite a lot uh, on their minds right now as we're even watching through the corner of our eyes here from where we stand, the SAPS officers who are accompanying the cottage, who are accompanying the family, the dignitaries to the Red Hill Cemetery. A number of them talk about the man they know. They call him Gema. They call him Madlogovo, Mgadi, Ntusi Nkomo. Wena, Nasendende, Nyesantla, Uyanela. Stenjwa, Madlogovo, Sengwe. They talk about that man. They talk about a man that they've come to know. Some of them say in the early 1980s, they first met him. And you really just understand that for them, this relationship goes too deep. There's a man who's standing with us now. His name is uh, Janek Parek. He's a friend. He's someone who would have dressed him as well. Someone who provided some of the shirts that we would see, the costumes and everything for the late Dr. Mbongeni. Thank you so much for your time. Let's Thank start, you, ma'am. Let's start by, you have just said goodbye to your friend. Goodbye. How are you me. feeling? Come, we have a deal. We have come back then. Are you okay? Okay. And uh, let's talk about, for you, what this day means as you say goodbye to him. The biggest disturbance is, uh, as I'm worried that one of our, two of our projects that we had initiated will remain incomplete. Will remain incomplete. One was that we, he wanted uh, the national anthem to be sung by uh, first line to be sung by President Mandela and then the rest of the freedom fighters. And the other project uh, was to do a film on uh, all the Africans living in South in India. Uh, unfortunately, that may be till now. I thought that it would be incomplete, but I'm very very delighted to see that. I mean, to hear that the leadership of the KZN government, uh, Premier Nomsa Dube Kedatubu, she has declared the playhouse as a. Uh, as the uh, Bongani and Gamma Theatre. Mm -hmm. So I would to carry on the legacy of uh, Bongani and Gamma and to carry his dream forward. I'm prepared to contribute, I'm prepared to uh, de reveal the, 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 the project uh, to, uh, and the project of making a film of South Africans settled in India. And the purpose of doing this film was to bring bring back the brotherhood or what we call in south of in zulu ubuntu yes and create a harmony and harmony for all that was his dream and i am ready to take his dream forward and i wish some up, some new or upcoming uh, film producer would like to complete uh, would like to take up his challenge and uh, do the needful Thank you so much, Janek, Thank for you. your time. I'll let you go to the cemetery as you are then going to be laying your friend to rest. That is Janek Parek, who was a friend to the late Dr. Mongeni Gema, a man who dressed him, a man who provided some of the, the shirts, the costumes that you would then see, and also shared a lot of moments, including that very um, tense moment where the late Dr. Mongeni Gema had penned a song about Amandia and that song caused a, an uproar and it was Janek, oh, uh, Mr. Parekh, who then sat down with him and they started trying to find ways of social cohesion. Although that song, um, you know, led to mixed feelings, mixed reaction, others didn't see a problem with it, but others said it was a racial, um, racially divided song. So he says that they then started to work on a project of social cohesion. These are some of the projects that um, one thinks about even as former President Jacob Zuma himself was talking about his own life story, 
that he says he wanted um, doc, the late Dr. Mbongeni Ngema to work on. They were talking about that. It is a project that they had wanted to get underway. At the same time, his friend, Tembandaba, talks about a project of the life and times of O.R. Tambo um, as a project they wanted to do because they say they were seeing him as the Moses of his generation. A number of projects left undone, but to those who were working with him say that they will continue. They will ensure that his legacy lives on. And we're going to be looking also at the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture to see what they also do in his honor, as they've all been saying that they're going to be doing quite a lot and will be making it public in due course. But that's where we leave it for this broadcast as um, the family, his friends, other dignitaries, colleagues are heading over to the Red Hill Cemetery at the Heroes Acre. We will then be wrapping up our broadcast here. Thank you so much for watching. Well, first of all, I would like to take this opportunity of expressing my deepest felt condolences to the family of Matlogov and all those uh, music-loving people, not only in South Africa but throughout the world, because uh, he struggled Mongeni. He was able to convey the message of uh, struggle and resilience uh, to the people of the world about the atrocities of the obnoxious system of apartheid. But also I knew him as a person. We come from the same township, Kwamashu, not far from here. Same street, Ndombela Road, Wai Edugemi. You know, he was staying in a place called the Mapoisein. So that's how I knew him. But I knew him particularly when I came back from exile in jail, especially in 1998, when I was the chairman of the 80th Mandela celebration and uh, Mandela's uh, marriage to Mama Krasa Michelle. I went to Los Angeles with the late Ahmed Katrada, Zinzi Mandela, Maurice Horda, and Suzanne Whale to get some of the artists who were in the forefront of the struggle against apartheid, like Stevie Wonder, Kenny Latimo, Chaka Khan. So when I came back to brief uh, President Mandela, he said uh, uh, for his uh, birthday, uh, he wants Umajorov uh, Mbongeni to be the one who, who arranges the concert at the Galaka estate. So that's how I knew Mbongeni. But the whole world knows him very much about this uh, world-renowned uh, musical play and later a film, uh, Sarafin. But also, too, what I really liked about him, he was not only an artist, he was a committed artist. If you recall that uh, play that uh, he, he produced, Asinamal, yeah. and those revolutionary songs mm. that we used to sing in the camps of Angola, Robben Island, in the underground here in South Africa, he was able to project the mood and the feelings of the people of South Africa. And that particular form of theatre is quite critical because it spoke to the challenges of the time. Do you think that theatre right now can still speak to some of the challenges that we're facing? 
I think so, because when you look at the history of Mongin, he was this young man who took a bus to Johannesburg, to Dube, to see the legendary artist as well, Gibson Kent. He was staying in the backyard for almost a month until Gibson Kent tried him, and what a find that he had. So I think today, even though we face different conditions, but we need the caliber of the people of Mbongeningem to ensure that the struggle now for economic liberation is in the forefront of all South Africans. Yeah, well, uh, what I can tell you is that uh, thank you very much for this uh, opportunity. I know Mongeni Gema uh, for the past 45 years. You, uh, people, they should know that uh, Mongeni Gema is a, a, a Kaiser Chiefs supporter because his uncle used to be one of the founders of Kaiser Chiefs Football Club with the name of uh, uh, China Gema. May his soul rest in peace. So Mongeni Gema, of course, uh, for the past... Uh, 45 years, uh, we know each other. The time when he came to Jobek, when he was doing, he was with uh, the late uh, Gibson Kente, he was acting, and then from there, he became a popular, he do everything, Sarafina, Rosa Abbott, you name, the, you name them. And I know all of this, uh, uh, what you call, what he has done. Yeah. But what I want to say is that uh, uh, Mbongeningem, he has done everything for mm. everybody. He mm. makes everybody happy, not even in South Africa, but globally, internationally. That's why we are here today, traveling all the way to, 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 from Pretoria to come here, to come and bury him. And uh, of course, South African Gallery of Legend, which is led by our beloved mother, uh, Mama Ria Ledwaba. Mm. Mbongeni Ngema was one uh, o, o, of those uh, 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 South African Gallery of Legend, where our motto is, uh, legends never dies. Wow. That is why we are here today to say to him, fare thee well, my brother, we are going to miss you, but your legacy is going to be here with us forever. Our computer, let's uh, talk to you then about, uh, you know, mm. just him, your reflections on a day like today. Say that again. Let's talk about your reflections as you come to be part of this funeral service. Uh, my, my, my brief comment is that uh, we are here mainly because of Gallery of Legends. That's where the last time I met with, with him, his departure came to us as a surprise, though we know that all of us, we are visitors on this planet Earth. Now coming to his situation here, I could not believe my ears, even though I'm a believer, when I was told that he is gone. Uh, after the storm has settled down, I had to look back, considering his valuable contribution in the field of sports, arts and culture. And uh, Mbongeni was much talented, mm -hmm. and uh, as Malombo has indicated that he was also a staunch supporter of Kaiser Chiefs because both of us, we belong to Kaiser Chiefs. He was a sports person and he was very loving. His smile would just come naturally, automatically. So when you look at his contribution to South Africans, it's immeasurable. Uh, he's not just an asset to us as South Africans, but globally he was recognized as one of the major stakeholders. So our main wish is that his close associates must see to it that his contribution is not in vain. Yes. They should take his contribution to a higher level. All right. Uh, so that even the current and the coming generation, can, they can copy whatever contribution that he has made. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, we uh, are saying yeah. to Umden, Wagwangema, may God comfort them in a very, very special way. Mm. Sing a Kali, we must also understand that the, the value of life it's not based on duration, but it's based on its donation. All right, let me so thank you. So he has made a, a remarkable contribution. Definitely, Baba. Let me thank you both for your time. And we do appreciate it. I know you have to go inside. They're waiting for you um, before the, 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 as the cottage is getting closer and closer. Let me thank you both for your time. Do appreciate it. That is uh, Jan Lombo, um, Di Chaba, as well as Vosu Computer Lamola. These are, in fact, uh, you know, some of the soccer legends. You think about their contribution on the field of play. And uh, they are here to pay homage to one of their own.
Thank you.